Hello, hello, everybody. I think we are live. I hope you all can see us. And uh, I am super excited because we are doing something different today, something we haven't done in a while. We're going to do some head-to-head uh, -head show matches with some FTL. And uh, you can see I'm Rand, and I am with my doppelganger, the amazing Farb. How are you doing, Farb? I'm doing great, man. Uh, thanks for having me. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a lot of fun to do this stuff. Well, I mean, you, you've done this on both sides. You did some casting. You did some playing last time. Yep. Are you, uh, are you excited to do some more? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, uh, I've really, really enjoyed casting last time. So, you know, when the chance came up again, I, uh, I jumped on it. So, well, we're going to do our best to confuse everybody since it's basically two of the same person on the screen, <laughs> but, uh, we are, we're excited. Uh, I'm Rand. <laughs> you are Rand and I am far, you know, we'll just confuse everybody, put the names in the wrong place on the screen. I like it. Uh, but uh, we have two awesome other folks that are going to join us and help uh, play against each other. We have Herpix and we have Empowers. And uh, Herpix, how are you doing? Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, for every lady watching the stream, happy Women's Day and uh, it's been fun. Well, that's awesome. And we also have Empowers, who's also been streaking lately. So you all are going to head to head. How are you feeling, Empowers? Yeah, I'm feeling great. Looking forward to it. Been been very uh, excited about this for a while. Uh, and it's it's great to be a part of this event with you. So yeah, thanks for having me. So as we've done in the past, um, we are going to have a straw poll. Well, actually, we haven't done this in the past. <laughs> Usually, uh, we have the uh, casters choose a ship uh, this time, and we do a kind of a pick ban phase. Uh, this time, I'm going to pick a ship, Farb is going to pick a ship, and then we're going to let chat do a straw poll to pick what the third ship is, and then the players get to each ban one, and then whatever they don't ban is the one they play. Uh, and also, chat, since this is kind of a trial run, you can let us know if audio and video is working, what it sounds like on y'all's end. We're probably not going to get it perfect the first time. Yep. But... Uh, Farb, which ship did you pick for them to try? Uh, I picked Stealth C. Alright. So Farb? I, I think it's gonna be interesting. Farb's got the Stealth C, the no stealth stealth, everybody's favorite stealth. Mm. Uh, I picked the, uh, Kestrel C, because I'm feeling kind of nice, and you know, a clone bay always makes things a little bit, uh, easier, especially when you're not no pausing. So, uh, if you are in chat, if you want to click on that straw poll, choose which ship we choose as our last ship for us to uh, 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 have have our players pick ban from. And probably while we wait for that, we can get some uh, get some banter. Do we have any banter between the two head-to-head uh, -head players? What do you all think? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I have a question for you, Rand. Um, okay. So what was your favorite free weapon that you got in your stealth run? Last <laughs> oh, it's so hard to choose, you know, black one, burst laser two, heavy laser one. You're like you a know? kid in a candy shop. Yeah, it was beautiful to watch. I can I'll see say it was the first one. Eyes. The burst laser two, the first one is the best one. The okay. refined option, yes. <laughs> well, I'll ask Herpix, what, what, what free weapon would make your, uh, your competition the best today? Well, uh... I'm known for uh, getting flag ones with Castellian, so hopefully. <laughs> nice. Always approve of that. And Farb, you are one of the OG uh, no pause streakers. What what tips do you have for these guys as they go to head to head head to head in these uh, you know speed score farming whatever you want to call our format of of competition? Don't mess up. Everyone's watching. <laughs> <laughs> no no <pin>. pressure. <laughs> Just have yeah. fun, you know? Like just uh just go for it. Can, That's can what we're you, here for. Can any of you tell me how to play fast? Because I actually don't know how. So <laughs> just, <laughs> just never just done click it. The buttons, so. man. Okay, I'll click the buttons. Too. I mean, I'll give you the tip that chat gives me. Just win. Just win. It's easy. <laughs> just win, forehead. <laughs> uh, yeah, my copy says the first burst is the deepest. There you go. We're gonna <laughs> have some remix songs going on in the chat <laughs> um i i I, uh, I have a great quote from mike hockley some sage wisdom he shared with me a while ago i was he was in my stream and uh <clears throat> i was trying to i was trying to sort of say out loud like what weapons this auto ship had and i couldn't tell if it was an ion two or if it was a heavy ion and he told me like you, you get used to the tips over time you know you just start to be able to tell the tips apart <laughs> Thank and you, 
how many people said that's what she said? That's what I want to know. Oh, Anybody? I, just, I was like, that's what Mike said. You know, okay. Was, <laughs> that was Mike's, Mike's mind. <laughs> Uh, that's great. That's great. That's that's a perfect Michael Scott office moment right there. <laughs> that's what he said. That's right. That's what he said. <laughs> uh, and, and while we're waiting for the um, for the straw poll to come through, I also want to let chat know we probably are not going to have all the normal like follow notifications and sub notifications because that would be too distracting. But um, we we aren't doing. I don't think we're any doing any sort of delay today. That we did that in our last tournament to conserve integrity. We're, since this is a trial run, we're trusting everybody to not look at each other's screens and get an unfair advantage with all the uh, randomness in FTL. I doubt that'll be an issue anyway. Oh, oh, it looks like maybe we have Slug C. That looks like our third and final ship to choose from. So I think, uh, I think we're ready to do our pick man. So, I remember who gets to who gets to ban first. Let me look at my list here. Perpex gets to ban first. All right. Oh no, yeah, it's Empowers. My bad. Okay. All right. Empowers, you get you get the uh, you get the power. Empowers. What are you gonna ban, sir? Well, so um, uh, if I remember correctly, didn't Casalian say I get to choose whether or not I ban first or second? Oh, okay. Okay. So you get okay, to choose. So, so do you want to ban like... or do you want to? Pass. I would like I would like her picks to to ban first actually yeah okay well it's an interesting choice um I don't like the chain laser by the way <laughs> I hate it <laughs> <laughs> Julian versus is not approved um Kestra C is an interesting shit because you can get easy crew kills with Diane Stunner but then again it's even easier with Slug C I don't know I will Ben, cast C and leave, leave my choice up to you, sir. Um, ooh, it's so tough. It's so tough. Um, <laughs> man, hold on. Let me go into my mind palace to decide. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, I guess let's... Mm, uh, let's do Slug C. Let's do Slug C. We're, we're, right. I'm banning, banning Stealth C, so, yeah. Banning Stealth C, so we're yeah. going to... Awesome. Oh, thank you, a battle of uh, what is it, mic control choice. and hacking together? I think on Slug C is that right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. One of one of three ships that starts with hacking. Very nice. I, I I'm I'm interested to see the skill expression expression between these two ships. Far. What what do you have to say on their on their uh, ship choice? What do you think? Uh, it's my favorite ship to play, so I'm all for it. I love Slug C. It's a, it's a ton of fun. I like uh, all the different strats you can do with the mind control and hacking, and yeah, looking at, looking forward to, to seeing what these guys can do. It's definitely a good crew killing ship. Uh, her yep. picks. Do you have any final words? Any final uh, intimidation you're going to bring into the octagon? <laughs> I'm happy if I can kill the flagship in under <laughs> 60 minutes. So, all right. Uh, what about you, Empowers? What what bring bring your bring your fighting words? uh well uh thank you thank you uh for for having me as part of this event everyone and um uh uh i don't yeah i mean i i hope i can kill the flagship in under 60 minutes you know um but we'll <laughs> see i'm gonna do my best so <laughs> all right so her picks and powers are you all both ready yep all right we need a seed which uh I, I didn't set up a seed before, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type out some numbers and give you all a seed. Uh, let me do that real quick here. So here is your seed number. It is four, three, five, six, eight, seven. All right. All right. Looks good. So I think we're good on both sides. Are we good to go, Kassalian? All right, so you guys get ready. Good In luck. Th three, two, one, go. All so, right. Ren, we've had uh, we've had a couple questions in chat about uh, how the the formats working and everything. So, while everything's getting started, I think we should uh, take the time to talk about it a little bit. That's a good idea, especially since I completely forgot to do that. We were supposed to do that. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> for those who don't know, we're doing a, a best of three where basically two players are playing head to head. And um, 
Our goal in this is to see who can play fastest, but also best in farming. So do you want to talk a little bit far about what we've talked about in like our scoring back and forth, how we've been choosing that kind of thing? Yeah. Um, so we are using a formula that's based on in-game score, um, but also in um, like real time, right? So that's why we got the timer rolling right now. Um, and we've been trying to find a balance between like trying to stop people from score farming, but also just stop it from being a speed run. Um, and that's part of what we're doing today is like seeing what exactly, um, you know, testing something different out to see how it works and, and go from there. Um, but uh, each player is playing the same exact seed. So all of the jumps and the sectors and all that stuff, um, are going to be the same there's some randomness still within like uh you know what chip target and i f don't think the stores are different if i remember i think all the stores will will be the same as far as like if they go to the same store yeah i believe casalian um, said stores are seated um yeah. hyperspace kind of makes this all possible because oh, yeah. we put that seat in uh folks noticed uh the seed is our attempt to make a very random game as competitive as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, we get the players to choose the same ship. They play on the same seed. There's going to be some variation because they're going to take Ooh. different paths, but uh, we get to see how they deal with similar situations. Right. And both both players uh, immediately fought, like I think, in either an auto assault or into an auto scout. So I saw some early hits into the weapons room, which is always fun when you have only a chain laser. <laughs> right. Well, that's uh i guess that puts on display how good hacking is too here because you uh the chain laser is always gonna fire before the enemy ship fires in the mm -hmm. early game so when you're hacking weapons it basically guarantees you get one shot off mm -hmm. um also herpix rolled a cute little ship over there with Zoltan lovely shield yeah yeah but he's uh he's been doing a, a good job keeping it study over here doing when you uh, can, shield flashes and stuff you can already see a slight difference i mean for sure empowers is playing faster but he's already he he got i think his uh, shield value instantly herpix yep. is sitting on 22 scrap but didn't get the shield value yep so and uh, while we were while we were explaining stuff what happened was empowers went to the store and sold the slug repair gel um ah, nice. and use and use that to get his shield buffer and then you know, like you said, he's uh, he's rolling through and getting, he got the shields up. Uh, I think they also took a little bit different route here too. Yeah, that's that's a good thing to mention, especially on Slug C and a lot of ships like it, where if you have a starting, have a starting uh, augment that you don't need to keep, getting shields early can be huge, saving you damage early. Right. Herpix is having a hard time with this uh, Zoltan shield ship, though. I know he's. Uh... I think he's got to throw the the hacking out. Yeah, yeah, there he goes. Nice. Getting the getting the weapon hack in. <laughs> Learn to love hacking, chat. Learn to love hacking. It's your best friend. That's true. It's very true. Uh, I I remember I, a lot of people will comment uh, on on people who like streak and they they just do the same thing every time. It's like, well, in a game that this random, you got to get as much consistency as possible, and the hacking does a lot of that for you. Yeah, exactly. It's just, uh, it's too good. Right? It just does too much for you, especially in the early game. It can mm -hmm. provide just so much safety, and it's part yeah. of the reason why Slug C is so good, too. Yeah, part of the reason why Slug C and any ship that starts with hacking just feels good. Right. Because you have that that safety you don't have to look for hacking <laughs> <laughs> or get to sector seven and go, where are my stores with hacking? Right. I've seen teleporter eight times and never got hacking. Ooh. Ooh. I think I just saw a free weapon for her picks though. No, yeah, looks like a whole laser two from what I can see. All right. All right. That was a rough fight, but you got a whole laser two and he got a free human, you know, he, he might be behind, uh, behind in time, but he's got some pretty good rewards here. Uh, again, the answer, uh, is it just a race in chat? Um, it is time-based, but also score-based. Um, so we have a formula that's working on the back end of things when the run is all over. Um, and then it basically spits out a tournament score and, you know, whoever has the highest score 
after the formula is applied as the winner and we're doing a best of three um so we're guaranteed at least one other run between these two today and then, yeah uh, and it, what's interesting about the scoring formula what some people might not know about ftl is the score that you get is based on what is it based on it's based on scrap you gain mm -hmm. uh number of ships you've defeated and beacons explored and beacons explored so then, what you'll notice is free free stuff doesn't come into that so if you get right crew for free if you get weapons for free things that you sell at a store don't count towards your score right and then the only other thing that goes into the score is there's a difficulty multiplier too but i mean we're on the same difficulty there so it doesn't really affect much so all right well let's see how are we doing here we got uh, Herpix did get a second shield, so he's kind of on par with defenses. Yep. Uh, how are they doing on health? They're both decent on health, although my favorite thing in the game, missiles. Missiles are uh, <laughs> getting some hits in on Herpix. <laughs> right. It's uh, kind of interesting to see that Herpix isn't weapon hacking a lot of these fights. He he does it right as you say right it. Right as I say it, right? <laughs> Can he hear us? I don't know. Can he hear us? <laughs> Winning does uh, count towards score, yeah. Um, and then I guess another thing is if a one of the players dies, um, the living player has to get to the next sector, and then just that round is over because then it's just they win. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one of the probably the most important thing on these runs is don't die, you know, just like normal FTL. Try not to die, just win. And then after that, we do some calculations that are involved with uh, the scoring and the time they take. Uh, I will say um, this tournament format is not a normal way of playing FTL. So Farb, do you want to talk a little bit about how you had to adjust your play when you uh, competed last time? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for me, even uh, playing no pause, um, I tend to play really slow, mm -hmm. right? So the biggest thing for me was like adjusting to going faster and maybe not going for crew kills in certain spots. And sure, you know, um, don't take trying the time to, to train or anything like that, right? m has got a heavy laser in the store, which Ooh. I think is just like a snap by here. Oh, and easy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think another I think another thing that's interesting too is for me in this spot, if I'm playing normally, I probably don't just go get the heavy laser online. Um, but right now for the tournament play, which it, I guess kind of ties into what you just asked, right? Mm -hmm. Is I would absolutely get it online just because it starts, you know, making fights going faster and yeah. then you, you stop having to worry about, you know, do I need to get a crew kill for a weapon? Because now, you know, on slug C, at least you have, oh, you, Herpix just got a swarm missile too. So he's, <laughs> he's cooking in the, the he's free doing my strat here. from yesterday on stealth B, just get right. all the free weapons. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah i think the biggest thing is like for me personally was trying to not do all of the slow stuff because <clears throat> really like the main way that i've always played the game is trying to win every run and sure. uh, trying to like maximize everything that i can and then this man you just you just gotta go so. mm -hmm. you got it's it's and it's, it's an interesting skill set because you have to play well, but you have to play fast and you have to know what you're looking for, I feel right. like. Because yeah. if you know on Slug C you gotta get a weapon, then you can ignore things like uh going to a store before you have enough scrap to get a weapon, you know? Yep. Um or if you you know you're trying to min max your time, you're not gonna maybe dive as much as you might otherwise do. Right. Uh, if if you think it might either kill you or uh, put you too far behind in time. Yeah, and since we've played the first time, uh, or did the tournament the first time, right? Um, I think what's interesting too is that Hollow started doing his speedy runs, mm -hmm. and I think it was kind of based on how the tournament was set up, and like. One thing that I find that I think I'm going to try to do when we play mm -hmm. is like he will try to get as stable as possible, as quick as possible, 
and then basically just beeline to the flagship, not worrying about like mm -hmm. getting buffers. You know, he basically just wants like three shields and weapons to to kill the flagship and like packing and cloaking, and then he just goes right. So, yeah, you've been talking about that, trying to get the very minimum you need to win, and then going and winning basically. Yep. yep. Well, let's see. How are we doing? I think I think Empowers is a little bit further ahead in sector, uh, yeah, but I, I will so. say. Perfix has got those free weapons. He probably needs to start looking at getting one of those online. Uh, he got that swarm missile. Uh, he's getting close to being able to get it online, I think. Did he just go, is that exit beacon for sector one he just hit, I think? I think that's where he just hit. And I believe Empowers is already a couple jumps into sector two. Yeah, uh, M had this fight just before with the, the Zoltan Shield and Pike Beam. Oh, okay, okay. But... Yeah, so the big differences right now is M's a little further ahead, has an NG, found the heavy laser out of the store. Herpix got a free human and got two free weapons so far. All right. Well, who 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 are you favoring? Whose position do you like? I, I am I am in the Empowers camp because I like heavy laser and it's already online. What do you think? Does Herpix with all that free stuff uh stack up or what do you think? Um I I think for like tournament sake, I think Emma's in a better spot right now. Okay. Um just because he's he's starting to play a little faster, you know, mm -hmm. he's starting to push a little more. Um Herpix isn't in a bad spot though. Mm -hmm. Right? Because like one shot away or one Ooh. uh system upgrade away yeah that's where i'm got the the free ng from too, okay yeah but... he crew killed that uh, zoltan ship very nice yeah um you know herpix is one weapon power away from having three shots just like m it's just the, you know mm -hmm. the whole laser is a little slower but well i did see a question in chat what happens if both players lose i believe our rule is that if both players lose uh well, if one person loses, you mentioned this earlier, if one person mm -hmm. loses, the other player just has to get to the next sector and they auto win. Is that right? Yeah. And then I think if they lose in the same sector, it comes down to whatever the score is, right? Like the, the tournament score, if I'm mistaken. Okay. Not mistaken. I think I think you might be right. I believe, uh, you know, this is again for everybody watching. This is our this is our trial. We're not. We're not going to get it right the first time. We may adjust things once we get to uh, the real tournament, whenever it is, months down the line. But uh, we are kind of using similar rules to last time and and adjusting things if we see uh, what changes we want to make. Uh, I see Empowers is doing some more crew killing strats. Mind control on the pilot. Shoot the pilot. Yep. Hack the pilot. <laughs> yeah, and I think they both ended up taking the same sector too. Because okay. I, I remember this fight that Herpix is on that I'm just had to, so uh, I could be mistaken though. I've I've been enjoying talking too much. I haven't noticed which sector they're even in. Uh. Yeah, same. <laughs> I've been. I think I think Emma's in uh, Uncharted just based on the second I caught the sector map. So, there yeah, it is. They're, yeah, they're both Herpix, there. Yeah, yeah, Uncharted. Nice. Okay. Well, this is this is very close. Herpix said he was going to have our time. I think Power said he was going to have hard time playing fast, but. This is this is looking pretty good. It's there's yep. no like runaway ahead of person right now. I don't think. Yeah, I, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think this is really different for Empowers and how he typically plays. So mm -hmm. it's uh, it's interesting watching how he adjusts. Um, he did get hacking two up, which is which is nice. Very nice. <laughs> I, I, it's it looks like Empowers is standing too. Is he like is he doing the standing? Uh, Standing yeah. desk thing. I saw him like going yeah, back and forth. <laughs> he does have a standing desk. Man, that's it. I need to get one of those. That uh, he, he looks. He looks like loose. You know, <laughs> being able to move, <laughs> do some squats while you you know play. Pretty I have, awesome. I have like the on desk extension thing that you gotta put all your stuff on but like man it's such a hassle and it's like really cumbersome <laughs> to just have sit on the desk so it's uh -huh. like if i want to use it i gotta like clear the spots and then put my monitors on it you know but like it's yeah. awesome it's really awesome how, how many gamers don't have you know like i have cookies right here or you know <laughs> cans of uh, red bull or something all your old pizza boxes you know? right <laughs> All right, well, they are living in a nebula right now. Uh, let's see. So looks like, is that a fire beam? Did 
Did Empower's get a free fire beam? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, it looks like it. I'm not sure. It had to have been free, I think. I don't. Yeah, I surely he wouldn't have bought that in a store with uh, 38 scraps sitting in his uh, inventory. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and Powers does have a an OP uh, crew kill build if he goes for the fire beam build. Right. Uh, and they've they've been pretty. Do you think crew kills are worth it in this format? What do you think? Because in general, in FTL, crew kills are better rewards. But are the rewards too much leaning towards the free stuff that doesn't uh, help towards your score? Do you think crew kills are worth going for? What do you think? Uh, I think it's really interesting, man, because you still need to play the game, right? Mm -hmm. Like you, you still have to do the things that you typically do to win um so you still need the weapons and everything uh, mm -hmm. i think it comes down to trying to figure out if it's fast enough or not right sure because mm -hmm. you don't really want to be spending too much time in fights so oh m has got a flak in the store <laughs> bye bye firebeam hello flak one i approve nope. of this play style <laughs> so like in m spot I would be really wanting to push for cloaking and then just mm -hmm. go. And mm -hmm. even though you don't have like a ton of uh, firepower, mm -hmm. I think I would be wanting to see if I can just go win and find okay. cloaking eventually and stuff. Um, I'm getting some insight into your play and I'm like, hmm, yeah. am I going to have to do the retreat retreat and just try to score farm or do I need to try to outplay you faster because i don't know if i can outplay your speed you know <laughs> i don't know man i uh i've been boomer in it and playing pause lately so <laughs> <laughs> well I'll, I'll be honest uh my plan has been to play fast but with pause because i feel like as much as practice i've been doing no pause it's just you get into situations where pausing is going to save your life you know and especially when you get like free borders or you're trying to time your weapons perfectly. I feel like the way to play this is fast, but with pause. That, that feels to me like the way you, you are consistently going to win in high score, yeah, you know? I, I agree with you on that. I think not using pause, even if you are like hollow, let's say, right? Sure. That, mm -hmm. like, always playing no pause. Mm -hmm. I think not being, not allowing yourself to utilize pausing in this is just putting yourself at a disadvantage. Sure, yeah. For, for a format like this, even if it's impressive to no pause, it's probably not the optimal choice, I would think. Right. And I think it's like pretty situational, right? Like you, you gotta, I think you wanna do most things pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but like if you start feeling like you're losing something or need a second to think about it, then like just hit the pause button. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like Herpix has got his whole laser two online. Yep. Um, which is interesting. Would you rather use the whole laser two or use the chain laser with hacking combo? What what do you what do you think in his situation sector three? I think I like the whole laser online. Okay. I'm almost wondering if, oh, he got that free fire beam. Okay, he found that fight. <laughs> you can see the smirk on his face. Uh, I'm almost wondering if it would be worth getting chain laser plus swarm missile. I usually don't like swarm missile chain laser because, well, Herpex doesn't know it, but there's a flak in that star, so. Uh, <laughs> he might be very happy with that coming up. Oh, is right. that a free slug? Free slug, very nice. I gotta say, pretty nice free stuff on this seed. Yeah, it's been that's been really good. Um, and I think I think Empower just started to pull ahead sector wise. I think he's in about a half half a sector ahead by now. There's a flak. Does he buy it? As Freddie would say, click it, click it. <laughs> is he doing it? I think he's so. thinking. <laughs> you know, it is it is tempting to just go cloaking here too, and then you have your systems. But that flak that's is true. so good, man. That's true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, all right, he clicked it. There it is. There is the flak. <laughs> I will always approve of a flak one buy. Oh, I uh, also bought the battery too. Okay, all right. I like I like the battery buy. What do you think about battery before getting things like cloaking or mind control? What do you think? Um well, you know, as always, it, it depends. <laughs> sure, yeah, I love that answer too. <laughs> um but no, I I think it's okay in a lot of spots. I think um, you you really have to weigh it against 
what your current situation is and what mm-hmm. you need. Um, in this spot, I I mean, both players are like pretty far ahead for where they're at uh, in the run. Mm-hmm. So I don't really dislike the battery buy. Mm-hmm. Uh, my thing for right now, you know, in, in the format, hold on, sorry. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> is uh, I'm looking to just get cloaking at okay. this point. So I don't know if I buy battery there. I think I want to save my scrap and kind of limit how much I need to go to stores and all of that. So. Oh, sure. Yeah. And that's, that's a good discussion for any, any playthrough of FTL, especially for people playing on hard difficulty. A lot of folks, when they're giving you suggestions on what you should do when playing FTL, they're like, well, I would do this. You got to think, well, are you playing in a lower difficulty where you have more scrap? Because really this ship, you get some weapons, you get cloaking and you're basically boss ready you know once you get yep. some upgrades it really so. doesn't need a lot mm-hmm. and it looks yeah. like Herpix went uncharted i think is what i saw yeah i think he did too i'm just been uh having a struggle with this rigor over here or disruptor. oh man disruptors and riggers man they will They're brutal yeah They're they will make me rage that's for sure secretly the worst ship in the game <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is yeah, interesting. I went Zoltan too. Yeah, he, he you uh, just noticed that right as I did. He went Zoltan, which uh, that's a discussion of uh, sector choice. Would you take Uncharted or would you take Zoltan? It looked like the Uncharted went up and had less choices, but Zoltan probably more dangerous in in general. I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh, Herpix just got a free flak. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, what a good nuts. start to the day. Uh, good seed, Rand. <laughs> when i pick a seed it's all free flax that's yeah. the, that's that's what's in the seed <laughs> um uh, i i don't know i i really don't like zoltan sectors mm-hmm. um you know the one thing where both players are when you're up against the zoltan shield right now you are not doing anything mm-hmm. you are basically just trying to get through their shields and then hack as soon as you can mm-hmm so in terms of like time for this i don't i don't know i probably don't go zoltan in a normal run here okay so, her fix discovered is in her rand yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> well hopefully his inner rand is uh not raging at missiles while he should be uh <laughs> killing the enemy right. uh, it looks like uh empower's got two rebel riggers in a row this one looks a little less scary i would say no yeah, missiles, no offensive drones. Looks like they're gonna might get away here. Oh, he's running, you're right. Oh, the the piloting hack. Okay. That's clutch. Man, Herpix got a Pegasus missile Pretty too Pegasus. now. Oh man. Let's flak, fire beam, swarm, whole laser uh-huh. two for Herpix so far. Uh-huh. And then the oh, Pegasus, the Pegasus. Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Oh, he bought sensors. I wow, that seems an interesting buy when you don't have cloaking yet. What do you think about the sensors buy? Uh, I think it's probably tr- in efforts to pull it out of the pool and get cloaking and stuff. Okay. Um, you know, and then like the whole ten system things comes into play there. But I don't mm-hmm. know how much you should really be thinking about it. Yeah, I think trying to play around it. I don't. I don't think I would go for it in this spot. Um, yeah, I definitely think I'd delay the sensors, I think. Right, because, you know, you you do have weapons to last you for a while here, and you want to play for speed and stuff, so it's mm-hmm. like, I'd be wanting to... I, I don't think I'd be putting myself below 150 scrap right now. Ooh, I like what M, M's doing right here. He's doing the... I just watched Mike Copley's video last night about uh, Pulsar depowering your shields. He was doing the kind of micro-pause right as the Pulsar is about to... Uh, hit, he depowers his shield so that his shields don't stay down for as long. I need to yep. practice that strat. Yeah, it's it's pretty tough no pause, man. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're trying to like flash your weapons and stuff too. But Yeah, I like, I like seeing it in practice and in pause though. It's really strong. Yeah, it's cool. Um, There's also some times where you'd actually want your shields powered because it's guaranteeing half of the pulsar hitting your shields right? mm-hmm. and not like getting your weapons safe. yeah okay yeah 
All right. So Powers is about you know, just a couple jumps in Sector 3. Herpix is uh, kind of moving along now. I feel like he's played a little bit of catch up here. Yeah, I'm just rolled some pretty gross fights in the Zoltan land over mm -hmm. here. Yeah, you can kind of see the danger of Zoltan, even when you're not fighting Zoltans. Apparently, it's all rebel and uh, <laughs> riggers and disruptors, I guess. You're right. Uh, Herpix, the uh, favorite human borders in Nebula with no gains. Just a complete waste of time jump. Don't even bring your cookies, man. I know, man. Bring your cookies if you're going to join our ship. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, every time I look at Herpix, he's also half power. So these yeah. uncharted nebulas have been... Ooh, and that's all heavy lasers on half power. Okay, now the backup battery's feeling good, I think. Uh, going yeah, into half power without backup battery feels bad to me. <laughs> I agree. Uh, I, I also can't argue with the um, just get as many flat guns as possible <laughs> and shoot them at your enemy. I was just thinking that. <laughs> There's so many like FTL Reddit posts where I see, I'm going to throw my trash at you till you die. And it's my favorite strategy. Yeah. Now, four, four flags definitely fun to have. <laughs> it's, also, it's also fun to me to watch the the player cams. I get to see the eye roll from Herpix every time a missile hits his. He just got hit in the piling with a missile. There's the eye roll. <laughs> Man, I'm just like rolling disgusting fights. Oh, he really is. Energy fighter with flak one versus laser one. He's doing a lot of the micro pausing. Uh, that's how Crow plays, right? He does a lot of that little micro pausing. Yep, yep, yep. And I think it's, uh, I think it's really, it's, it's like such a strong thing to be able to do. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played much with that strategy at all? Oh yeah, when I play pause, I, I do that. And I've so actually, actually was playing pause the other day on stream too. Can you explain to people in chat uh, how, how sure. does the micro pausing thing work? Um, well, first off, you actually have two pause buttons. Um, you have the one that you can bind in game, and then you have your middle mouse button, which mm -hmm. is also a pause. Um, so what you do is you pause the game, and then you basically press both buttons um, almost simultaneously, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just about cloaking too here, so that's Ooh, he's like nice. a really good spot. Perfect, uh, perfect scrap floor too. He's at yep. zero. Um, so basically, well, like I was saying, you just try to press both buttons as close to each other as you can. So mm -hmm. you're just like the idea is you want to unpause and repause frame by frame, so gotcha. you get these like really tight windows to be super accurate with anything that you're doing um and it's just like you know pausing by itself is like one of the strongest things you can uh, you know do in the game mm -hmm. right and being able to like do it at such a fine level like that just like really helps put that like in the fort and lets you kind of min max a lot of things you do, yep. like depowering your shields at the perfect time yep. or cloaking at the perfect time and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and then even like depowering your weapons as projectiles are right at your shields just for that split second. So you're like barely losing any charge and all of that stuff. So Yeah, lots of really cool things you can do with that. It's another thing mm -hmm. I need to practice. Um, we got both players in NG Homeworld. Herpix has got some free Mantis borders which always confuses me in NG Homeworlds that you get a bunch of free Mantis on your ship. Right. They're uh, infiltrators, I guess. <laughs> They're... Yeah, Mike, Mike brought up a good point too. When you get used to it, you can adjust how long uh, you let your on pause go according to what you're doing too. Okay. And like, I don't know. There's just, there's so much stuff you can do on a, at like a super high level of playing pause. And it's, uh, it's actually like the reason why I like playing pause too. Yeah. That it seems like it's another kind of expression, of, uh, another way of doing some skill expression. Oh, People absolutely. who can use the pause button and micro pause into a, a, a more min max, uh, way, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh, definitely. Uh, gives a huge like raise to that skill ceiling. Mm -hmm. Oh, Herpix has got another, he's got a bad disruptor here. Hacking on his hacking while boarded with a drone, a boarding drone. 
while the enemy's running. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, that's kind of nice, dude. This, uh, yeah, I got. I got to say, probably Rebel Disruptor in Pulsar might be one of the low key worst events oh, in the yeah, game. Absolutely. Especially the ones that roll like two offensive drones and they have hacking, you know. Oh my gosh! And they and they have fast firing weapons, so you have oh, to choose just, what you get offline. Just gonna say that they got nasty weapons too. Uh -huh. Well, and then these ng uh, these ng dudes with the double defense drones. Oh, those are a pain. What did what did he hack? He hacked the weapons. Would you would you hack weapons on a fight like that that Emp empowers is doing with the double defense drones, or would you hack something else? I would hack weapons, yeah. Okay. And it's mainly because it provides me the most safety and most control over the fight. Okay. okay. Especially because you're able to, to hack and cloak here, even though you don't have level two hacking yet. It's just like, man, it, it just, it makes you so safe. Mm -hmm. And at the very end, you're like almost always going to be able to run away from it. So Yeah. There we go. Okay, I liked that. He he aimed his heavy laser and Powers did at the drone control to get one of those drones off. So that's mm. good. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh I got a What's going on over there? Look, look at her big smiling at the camera. <laughs> nuts. Uh, so yeah, like this is this is what I was saying before. Like, I don't know if I just go get the halberd on normally. Mm -hmm. But if I have that scrap and already two flax, man, I'm looking at just like tearing through ships and going mm -hmm. and finding cloaking and then beelining to the flagship, you know? So Herpix just chose Slug Home Nebula over Rock Home Worlds. Oh, and we should probably mention um, last time we did this, uh, the tournament, the Crystal Ships and I think Rock Sea were out because we didn't want people going to the Crystal Home Worlds. And I believe we're going to give the option, depending on what ships this year uh Should to actually crystal roll us a. i know right i was thinking i was thinking about giving crystal a as a as a maybe for next time we can yeah the next i one. like it <laughs> you you pick one i'll pick the other <laughs> <laughs> roxy crystal a crystal b those are your choices <laughs> oh man look at that ship we got a glade beam slug well i'll tell you what if crystal b pops up in our match i'm banning it so <laughs> for anybody listening i that's a hundred percent. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to think about my band strategy already. It's like, do I want to do any boarding with how slow boarding can be? You know. Yeah, I guess the thing with that is like, you're playing the same ship as your opponent, right? Mm -hmm. So it just, yeah. Oh man, Herpix is looking. Look at that. He's got both Flax his Halberd beam online. He's only missing Cloaking to be just yeah. boss ready. And honestly, he could just he could just go right now, mm -hmm. right? Like. I would be tempted to just start going and seeing if maybe I can get lucky and finding cloaking, but with the flak and the halberd and hacking, you're like, you're know, set basically. A couple right? volleys from killing the flagship, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see, That's we got another thing. rebel rigger for uh, empowers over here. One thing I will say, they've both been playing well by uh, not getting low in health. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, either either they've been dealing with the situations well. I don't think they've been getting that lucky with the ship fights. These have been some pretty nasty ship fights, I think. Yeah, Ems had, I think Ems had a lot of ship fights that have been slowing him down a little bit, actually, because mm -hmm. Herpix is uh, in Sector 5 now, and I think mm -hmm. Ems is still in NG4. Okay. Yeah, he is. That was the NG quest right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, you skip, do you skip a lot of quests if they're, uh, if they're just going to slow you down? What do you think? I think so, format? yeah. I think so. Okay. But again, man, it's just like it really depends. I think you still need to to evaluate it in the situation. It's just, you know, you can't take the 30 minutes to decide in a store like I do. <laughs> <laughs> or play like my copley. Hmm, I'm gonna take an hour on this fight to make sure I get the perfect outcome I want. Yeah, but Mike's only problem me. is he can't count to three, so <laughs> We can't count to three. What is what is that? A, what is that a meme about? Uh, Mike was doing reactorless runs. Oh, and, oh, man! I forget. I forget the exact situation. Um, but it it came down to the fight ended up taking another drop for Herpix over nice, there. Nice, nice. The fight ended up taking like I don't know, probably like four times as long as it should have. 
because he forgot that he wasn't at three and was at like two or whatever he was counting. So, <laughs> so still to this day, every now and then I make fun out of him for it, even though I don't remember exactly what it is. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Well, and what, a cool thing is after this best of three, I think me and you are going to go to head to head and then Mike Copley is going to do some casting. So right. maybe he can, remembers. Yeah, he could, he could tell the story later, maybe on, is an ion stacking build he's counting the number of ions or something <laughs> yeah he says pre-ignited ion stacking build and i miscounted my first volley which maybe caused it to last three and a half hours <laughs> maybe maybe you know who's counting <laughs> not mike i guess <laughs> right. uh, that's great i just make sure to remember he forgot every now and then <laughs> <laughs> that's great yeah, you can kind of see him powers. He's doing that that glade beam fight earlier, so Herpix is really pulling ahead, I think. That yeah. black halberd beam is making for some fast fights. Oh yeah. Man, I love this build. This is this is one of my favorite types of builds. Get a flak, get get a halberd beam, and just start cruising through a run. It's really strong, man. Anytime you can open the door for the halberd beam mm -hmm. is really good. I'm out of fuel here, which can be a brutal negotiate i didn't Don't... see exactly where he was on his map uh i th i think he's at the near the beginning of the slug nebula i think is where he is let's see so he's got a no he's got a fight that's almost safe but uh what is he running he's still running the flak one heavy laser one he hasn't even got the chain laser up i guess right. that cloaking did put him a little bit behind on uh weapon upgrades yeah, and I think I think it was probably better. And it looks like he's made a couple of upgrades too. Like he's got uh, another engine, and I think he's probably bought some power too to go with it. Yeah, he got hacked too. But uh, you can, I'm 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 impressed with Herpix, especially with he was talking about how uh, he would just try to kill the boss. You're you, you're gonna kill the boss with this build, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. So this is what I was saying before, what, like. If Hollow is in Herpix's spot right now, uh -huh. doing his speedy runs, I think mm -hmm. he's already at the flagship. I gotcha. Yeah, and we're like, what, 30, 40 minutes into the, oh no, 37 minutes into the run? Right. Yeah. I feel like if if we do, if our scoring format does lean more heavily towards speed, Hollow has got to be the one to beat if he's, if he's competing again this time. I probably would agree. And even go as far as regardless of the formula. Because, um, man, when he's doing his speedy runs, like, I don't know. He, he, he did a cycle in less than 24 hours, I think. Oh, my gosh. Or it was, I know for sure it was under 28. Now I'm kind of second guessing myself there. But <laughs> between 24 and 28 hours a complete cycle uh yeah he's, he's probably like, the only one in the world who could do that i'm guessing he's he's doing like 40 minute to an hour run and like the score is low but when you're running that fast for you know the sake of the tournament your your score is like your score is going to be super high and mm -hmm. hard to compete with even if you're score farming so mm -hmm. that was part of the world record streak wasn't it i feel like that was yeah Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> and you know, Savage says speed runners turning, and that's like part of what we're trying to avoid is about making it go so fast. Mm -hmm. But there is going to be a point where if you can play super fast and you still get a decent in score game, it's mm -hmm. gonna be really hard to compete with, even if you're doing the you know, the retreat strat from last time where you're taking a little bit longer, but you're making these huge scores, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and that actually and reminded me. Um, we were talking about like picking ships and stuff before. I remember when I played Retreat, I picked Mantis C because I thought my only shot of beating Retreat was uh -huh. he was going to die. And I thought out of the ships, Mantis C was the one that was going <laughs> to be the most likely to kill him. So you're like, you know, I'm not out farming this guy. I got to give myself some other. Right. edge <laughs> well and that that is one of the things we are trying to figure out is we are trying to find that balance between what is a skillful fast player but not somebody who's just gonna score farm their way to victory so hopefully we can we can find that balance 
Right. And that's, uh, you know, that's part of why we're doing the, the test matches and stuff too, or the show matches. Um, it's because we are using a little bit different formula this time. And, you know, it's good to get like some concrete things to look at. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, hopefully by the time the like real tournament rolls around, we have something that we're all on board with and all mm -hmm. of that. Um, and yet, yeah, uh, real quick too, we do have um, a hard cap on time here. That's 45 minutes after the first player has finished. Um, the second player. They basically must win within 45 minutes after the first player wins, correct? Right. Yeah. And it used to be an hour is what I'm seeing. So, okay. Yeah. So you can see we're, we're making adjustments and we're trying to keep it from being a six hour long farm fest <laughs> right and i think that's just you know also you have to with something like this you have to take into account um you know it's it's watchability too mm -hmm. so putting stuff like that in place just helps it you know be more streamlined and you know all, all of that stuff too yeah so. and make 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 it something that people actually want to come and watch mm -hmm. although i will say you know watching some of the stuff that Mike Copley can do with his super, you know, super exact slow play style is, is also very impressive. It mm -hmm. might not be quite as fun to watch for <laughs> the entire three and a half hours of ion <laughs> counting. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let me and Mike play each other and we'll uh, we'll do a nine hour run for you guys. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Need a 24 hour stream to get two runs in, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Three day, three day uh, subathon for Rand. <laughs> uh, man, I'm I'm definitely liking Herpik's place right now. He's uh, he doesn't have his cloaking, but he's ahead. He's got his weapons. I think he's in. Uh, is he in another slug sector? He's in an uncharted. He's been living in on nebula sectors this uh, this run. It seems. Yeah, and I'm a a sector behind still here too. Mm -hmm. But he he did finally get the uh, the other weapon online. Okay, very nice. He's buying all that fuel since he ran out earlier. You gotta love running out of fuel in the middle of a slug sector. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. <laughs> Only mad dogs and Englishmen enjoy watching Mike Hopley play. He says. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not English, so you must be a mad dog then. <laughs> <I> must be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah i just noticed we also have i like uh our uh, our format and everything we got going you can see the scrap numbers at the top of the screen you can see the o2 that's an interesting we, we're, we're we're tracking o2 i guess that's to see when uh <laughs> crew are close to dying maybe Rip. and uh we gotta we gotta zoom in on the weapons for each player that's i like i like the I like the layout. I, I feel yeah, like we exactly. got to give a shout out to Kasalian with all for all the work he does for this. Yeah, I agree. He uh, he's the reason why all of this is working, basically. So yeah. So for all those in chat who think I'm doing something, I'm doing nothing. Kasalian, he's got the overlays. He's capturing all the different players. He's capturing all this stuff. So we're know. just we're just here to be cute, man. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're the we're the male models. Yeah. You know, we're just doing our blue steel on stream exactly. while he's doing all the work. <laughs> uh, yes, Grima, there will be. There will be some some of that tonight. So let's see. We got he, uh, Herpix is at the end of, uh, what is this, Uncharted? Is he in six? I think he's in Uncharted six, right? Yeah. Yeah. Still no cloaking, though. Guess the long range scanners. Does he buy the heavy laser or the fryer bomb? Heavy laser. All right. He's uh he's playing like I would, which sounds like is probably a little slower than what you think would be optimal, right? Getting these extra things he doesn't quite need to finish the run. Well, I think I honestly think he is in a spot where he, he can just go, you mm -hmm. know? Like I was thinking in that in that store since it's like on the route and everything, I mm -hmm. might have just bought I think drone control was in there. I might have just bought it. Just to, bought and gone. To have it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But man, flak flak heavy halberd. That's uh, that's yeah. quite the weapon setup over yeah, there. Yeah, that's 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 boss ready. He could, he could just go. Yeah, just turns uh turns into a little bit of DPS race. But uh, I mean, he's it's 
if I'm on his ship on a bad run and this is what I have, I'm super happy about it. Going <laughs> to the, you know, being at the flagship right now. So, mm -hmm. well, let's see. And Powers, he's at full health. Did he? Did he repair to full? What's your What's your idea on how much you should repair when you get the opportunity? Do you like going to full? Or do you like staying at 10, 25, or ten from max, five from max? What do you, What's your What's your strat in general? Well, Rand, it depends. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now I get to answer, ask the questions and get the crappy answers. <laughs> no. Um, I, as I have been playing more and like, you know, progressing skill wise and stuff like that, mm -hmm. um, I do tend to favor wanting to heal more. Okay. Um, but it is really like really situational. If I think I'm in a spot where, I can get by with a little less hull and, you know, save my scrap or I know stores coming up and I need something, mm -hmm. you know, then I don't want to repair. Um, but it's also pretty relevant to the ship that I'm playing. Sure. Yeah. You know, uh, because you get a ship like Fed C or Mantis C or even, you know, Crystal B to a certain extent, ships that can just turn into face tankers. Mm hmm Hull turns into a huge resource then, mm -hmm. you know, so then it's like, ships like that or spots like that i'm really favoring repairing to to full gotcha um you know if i have like hacking and cloaking i'm not too concerned about where my hole is at it's still relevant it's just like that would put it way less of a priority for me you feel a lot safer in that case right yeah well um as uh some folks just noted that was a charge two that um and powers just got for free but he's a he's a good he's almost two sectors behind now i think he's end of sector five and herpix is about halfway through sector seven so yep uh, herpix is looking really good right now still hasn't found that cloaking um you know one thing that i think we should add is and i know we've kind of talked about it before um herpix is a, a veteran to this format and mm -hmm. from what i understand too uh he and Cass had been uh playing runs between themselves with yeah. you know like under this format they've been doing some um, practice runs yeah right so he's he's a little more well versed in this emma's like on the fly trying to figure it out you know he even asked like how do i play fast mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah know? so i think this run for him is gonna be you know when he when he finds out that her pick's finished and he's still gonna be in like sector seven or something uh -huh. he's gonna be like oh I need to, you know, maybe I need to think about what I'm what I'm doing a little mm -hmm. more. So. Well, and, and that's good that this these these practice tournaments. Uh, I'll, I'll mention a couple things. We we plan on doing some show matches, I believe, on other folks' streams too. So you may do some on your stream. Yeah, uh, be down. Casalian's been doing some practicing on his stream, and we want that to happen. We want this format to to be something that people around the community are excited about and want to practice with. So if anybody's interested in participating i think reach out and um i will say if you type exclamation point i think it's players in the chat i agree i watch ftl i think he's uh doing a really good job adjusting um, it's just hard man it, it's hard to change how you normally play how you yeah. normally think about the game like it's it's tough yeah it's it's almost like when going from with pause to no pause it's like you're playing a different game and i feel like oh, yeah. it's probably similar to playing in this tournament how fast you have to play right but uh, there's a link to Empower, so give Empower a follow. We'd probably need to give her picks a shout out. I don't know if he's got a Twitch channel, so I don't know if he streams or not. I'm not sure either. But uh, let's see, where is Empowers? He's looking at, he's got his systems, but he's he's at the beginning of Sector 6, so <laughs> he's got some catching up to do, that's for sure. All right. Um, he hasn't sold his Charge 2. Um, let's see. Herpix is oh, it's, the link doesn't seven. the link doesn't work because the there's an extra letter at the end of M's channel. Oh, did I? I need to fix that then. Is that should it be just sixty seven? Yeah, it's there just it sixty seven. Delete that oh, I, and I will fix that in the command right now. Give me a second. Let's see. There you go. Mike just linked it. Thanks, Mike. All right, now I'm gonna fix that in the command right now. Yeah, and uh, also it's worth noting that Empowers is, I think, 41 runs deep on a pause streak right now. Just completed the cycle not very long ago and is 
tearing it up on it. Yeah. So Empowers is he's he's got the skills. We can tell he's mm -hmm. got the skills to to play well. It'll be uh, it'll be about probably learning how to play faster if he wants to be competitive in the forty-two the yeah. format. I knew forty-two. I, I was watching a little bit of the slug beer on yesterday, and I I forgot. First cycle became a double cycle. Is almost there, man. Yeah, that's God, that is impressive. <laughs> I got to give him a follow right now so I can check out some of his runs. All right, so how is <laughs> Herpix is uh, he is just banking that scrap 226 scrap trying to find that cloak in right now. Yep. I think he's in Uncharted and I think he might have already seen a store. So I think you're right. He probably should have just bought drone control earlier and just called it because uh... <laughs> right. I mean, I, I think I would only do it if it had the defense drone or the, there was a defense drone in the store I could buy too because okay. you know, you don't really need it for anything else. It's just like just to have it and then yeah. you then you go maybe stop a missile or two on the run yeah exactly yeah he is cut okay he is uh i'm looking at her picks looks like he's doing some final upgrades and looking towards okay he didn't quite go to the exit he's gonna take a couple more jumps but yeah he is he is he really is a sector and a half ahead of uh empowers is he at a store yeah, and it's it's really interesting too, right? Because he was about a sector behind before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Herpik's experience and practice is showing off. He knows how Agreed. fast he's got to play. Nope. As he gets hit with a two damage missile. <laughs> I'm I'm I'm. My empathy is hurting for him right now. <laughs> Hey, I'm just I'm just glad that the uh, the enemies have a different Artemis than we do. <laughs> it would be so brutal if their Artemis was one power, man. Oh my gosh, yeah, it'd be terrible. Well, it's to me that's like those things when people say you are so lucky when X happens, and I think, are we lucky the way FTL is <laughs> ever? I don't know if we're ever really lucky when we have <laughs> enemies with two missiles really? firing at us and that kind of thing. I guess it all it all balances out or something, right? Yeah. Well, I'm 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 hopeful uh, when we when we do the tournament this year, we'll get to talk to the devs again because it was always funny. It's funny to me when we talked to um, Justin Ma, and he he told us he had never beat hard mode FTL before. Yeah, that was something. <laughs> uh, I also found it pretty funny when somebody asked him about. Uh, the hard targeting and he's like what oh yeah they're, they're smart targeting <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's great <laughs> oh yeah Rocky X says that uh, M's on a meteoric rise he's some really good decision making that's awesome yeah oh my chat stopped working apparently well yeah I've, I've been very impressed with M's play he's he's playing um a little bit slower but really smart And Herpix, he's a little low. Uh, he's about to get his free repair. He's thinking about diving. He's going to dive. Okay. <laughs> he's getting a little retreat, retreat score farming going on here. A little bit. I hope it doesn't bite him, you know. It's so it. hard to to know what to do, uh, yeah. you know, because it's like, do you, do you go for the extra score? Do you try to save some time, you know? Like yeah i don't know i i haven't experienced it yet but when we play i'm gonna be like i don't know how to play you know i don't know what is gonna get me the better score and so hopefully hopefully these practice matches will give us a good idea because i think it'll be huh, free pike beam from that dive nice uh yeah, had enough too. free weapons uh hasn't had enough of those but I, i'm hoping because i think the more competitive it is the more players figure out different strategies, the more interesting it's going to see how they stack up against each other. Because we we didn't think that the score farming thing would be the best strat last time, and it turned out to be. Hopefully this time we'll find out, I don't know, maybe maybe it's maybe it's something completely different. Maybe it's speed running completely and right. uh, making it so you force the other player to finish faster than they want to or something, you know? Yeah, I agree. It's uh, 
it'll be interesting. You know, in a, in a perfect world, you want both to be perfectly viable, right? Yeah. But then it's almost like the, the speed is going to have the advantage because of the time cap, too. Yeah. You know? So it's just like FTL. Perfectly balanced is all things should be. Right. <laughs> and I watch FTL says it's going to be weird for me to make my own decisions. I know. I can't <laughs> ask chat anymore. <laughs> you just... uh. You're gonna you're gonna have to make a sign language thing. <laughs> the one you do it, chat knows, you know. <laughs> well, I'll tell you the reason I asked chat is because if I didn't, I'd just be like, Well, I'm just gonna buy flack every time. That's the only decision I really wanna make. <laughs> hmm, should I live or buy a flack and die? Oh, I guess I'll buy a flack and die because right. you know. <laughs> it's like you and uh, you and ions, right? Uh Pie Boy says like you ions, just man. you have this love of ions. I do. <laughs> That's your fire beam. Yeah, fire beam's good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you love fire uh, ions, does that mean you like the uh, the ion drone build, or is it just ions in general? Um, I'm a fan of the micro behind um, the ion builds. Um, I, you know, I preferred like three ions and a heavy laser or something right but like okay the uh the drones like, add in a little bit more of the micro and, so you like the disabling know. ship kind of strategy i guess yeah and i think they're pretty underrated i don't they're they're not as good as a as a typical weapon loadout right but mm -hmm. um man using ions to disable two different systems or even like two and a half mm -hmm. is it's just so it, they can be so strong what's up crow level one ion yeah the stun bomb <laughs> <laughs> stun bomb most op weapon in the game according to pie boy and totally not memeing uh and powers has caught up a little bit he's i think coming at towards the end of sector seven but Herpix, he's about to go into the boss fight. I think he's about one or two jumps from the boss fight. So he never did find cloaking and he didn't buy a system. So unless he gets some crazy lucky Sector 8 store, he is he's going in one system short yeah. here. And really with four shields and he's got a bunch of engines and his loadout, like it really should be okay. What do you think is the worst hack versus him? Is it going to be weapon hack or something else? Probably weapon hack because he's gonna want to end the end the fight as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. I think shield hack is kind of nasty too. But well, the four shields probably helps him a little bit with that. So he's probably he's probably still cruising for the boss fight though. Oh yeah, yeah. M has been catching up a little bit too. Yeah, let's see where he is. He is okay. I think I feel like he might have been feeling feeling the pressure because I feel like he rushed through that sector seven pretty quick, which I think is smart. Like he said, he's got what he needs. He's got the systems, not quite the weapons. And he's still running with just flak heavy chain laser. It looks like he might be trying to get that charge. There it is, charge yep. online, there it is. And he did just enter sector eight here. Mm -hmm. And it looks he's, like he's just beeline into the he's boss. He's flying, and... yeah, look at him go. Yeah, <laughs> I like he's, it. He's like this, uh, the long distance runner who gets that, that second win and it starts passing everybody. All right, here we go, Herpix. Phase one of the boss, you got a hacking hack. Not too bad. Uh, especially if you're Ooh. blowing up shields first, too, like that, you know? Yeah, that's that's a two shot right there. He's going to almost finish him before second cloaking there. And Rakigak, you think cloaking may be overrated in this format? Because you can just zoom and win? Yeah, you might be right, because cloaking is just so expensive. Trying to get that much scrap might put you on a slower run. I'd be, that could be another interesting strat, uh, going minimal systems mm -hmm. to uh, just get your weapons and shields where you need them to beeline it to the boss. All right, phase two for Herpix. Nice, he uh, bypassed the uh, hacking, uh, the defense drone pretty quick. I don't know what Herpix was worried about. He's been playing really, really, really well. Yeah, it's been... Uh... It's been really good. All right. 
One more volley. He's going to have phase two down. So we are coming up on the timer for her fix, probably. One more phase. Just over an hour. Pretty good time. Where's Empowers looking? He is low on power. He gets the backup battery. Okay. And all right, he's going into phase one of the Just boss. Center, yep. It's funny that I jumped simultaneously there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm got an O2 hack. Ooh, O2 hack with level one O2. That's that's nasty. Yeah. And his his weapons aren't really uh, very quick weapons in terms of ending the fight fast either. No. So it might be kind of interesting here. Yeah. I feel like I'd be wanting to just blow up shields. On uh, on M side. Yeah. Just because you wanna you wanna try to end it as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, Herpix has got. He's got his uh, clone bay dead while being boarded with mind control. Uh, he has not countered the mind control yet. I don't know if that was a mistake or... I think he might just be forgetting and focusing on killing the boss. Yeah, I think, it's, I think that's right. Yeah, one more volley. All right, and there's Time Herpix. For the Time Herpix. for Herpix. I look like 6125. Okay. Now we're, uh, got the single view on M while he's finishing the run out yeah he just got phase one completed with that o2 hack i don't think he lost any crew so no, i don't think so either took no damage pretty good pretty good so um you know the, the question came up again what's more important time win or score i think when it is this close in time it's gonna come down to score yeah because that's really the the what can be the larger variable between the two here yeah and i'll be honest i'm not sure whose score is higher because there was so much free stuff that makes it hard for me to tell yeah. how much scrap of that was you selling all your free weapons and how much of it was crew uh, ship kills, you know? Right. And I was, I felt like taking more fights earlier. Mm hmm. And then, you know, Herpix kind of still, you know, he, he dove in Sector 7. Mm hmm. And then I'm just kind of beelined it once he felt he was fine to go win. Let's so, see. He's he's playing the low power right now. You like to play that way too, don't you? Yeah. And I think for something like this, it's pretty it can be pretty good just because mm -hmm. you don't need as much scrap and all of that stuff. So that makes sense. It's just like there's so much that goes into it, man. It's kind of a gross spot here. Yeah. Ooh, you can look at his face. He's he's a little worried. It's gonna be that okay. Like what he's doing, he's pausing right before the uh, missiles cross the shield threshold to get the most value out of that cloak, too. Nope. He's not going to fire his weapons till cloaking wears off, I'm guessing. I think I would right now. Ooh, this drone phase. He's got two shields. This is... Yeah. Ooh. When I when I would have realized my cloak wasn't lasting the surge, I think I'd mm -hmm. blast out of, out of cloaking there. Okay, all right. Honestly, that could have been way worse. He, I think he must have got some decent dodges there because... Yeah, good. He took some damage, but... He's got some cool micro-pausing. I like what he's doing here with moving his crew around. It also helps just, like, getting a read on the... on the changing situations of your fight, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, his cloaking is not up for the missile volley. It's looking rough. Yeah. I feel like this is showing one of the dangers of uh, playing at minimum upgrades. He's having a harder time with this boss fight. Yeah. And I think it's also just the difference Oof. in the damage output, too. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two flax, the heavy, and a halberd is so much damage. And... Yeah. Okay, was, well, he's alive. That was pretty brutal. He's gonna he's going to <laughs> phase three with five health. <laughs> time to time to speed hack all the repairs. I'm do it. Uh, <laughs> speed hack the repairs. <laughs> by the way, chat, speed hack not allowed in our tournament, nope, by the it's way. Banned. <laughs> uh, man, poor uh poor empowers here. That's uh he was probably feeling good going in that fight, although those weapons those weapons are just slow. They're they're not they're not high DPS. That's rough. Well, the good thing is our format is a best of three, so he's not out of it if he loses this loses this one. Nope. That's another thing we're trying to do with this this new format is if somebody has really bad RNG or 
just has a really bad boss fight, they are not out of the tournament and one and done. You get you get a chance to redeem yourself. But uh, I, I like what he's doing, though. He's still getting the repairs up. He's going to give it his best shot for Phase 3, I think. Oh, yeah. No repair. That's, that's rough. Yeah, his piloting did get tagged a few times there, too. Yeah, the, uh, the timing of the, the first surge, too. And I think the boarding drone was in his shields, so he yeah. was trying to pull pilot to deal with that, and it's just... Uh, Phase two can spiral, man. It's tough, man. At this point, you just try to win. Yeah, I believe, too. It's almost like this game was programmed by evil devs who like to watch you suffer. Right. Which I think is the case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure when we talk to them, they'll they'll tell us, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's what it was designed for. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you're, if you're trying to make a, a hard game, you can't be nice about it. That's right. It's what it's what like what Britnoth says. If the game weren't so punishing, would we still be playing it? It's true. What Probably does that right. say about us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the FTL community as a whole. How yeah. masochistic are we? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five health, phase three. We believe in powers. We believe. Let's see it. Send him your energy, chat. Send him yeah. your energy. He's got it. Not a lot of crew to deal with either. That's good. He's got the mic control counter at least. Yeah, he's just getting boarded once here. Oh, into piloting. Oh, that's gross. Uh, oh, oh. Game's that's being rough. rude, man. Yeah. Oh, he's going to vent piloting to deal with these guys. Interesting. I think it's just to get him out of to there. To force him out? I like yeah. that. I would not have thought of that. I can see what Rackax saying about his decision making. That's cool. Look at that strat. Force them out of the important systems. That's some clean play. Even if he loses this, I'm 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 impressed. Depower shields. Give him more time on the cloak. Eesh. That's, That's tough call. That's tough call, man. Balls of steel. There. Oh, he didn't Look even cloak it. <laughs> what a gutsy play there. Wow, like that it. is cool. Yeah, I like it a lot. That the is surge some... is probably worse here. Yeah, yeah. That is some impressive impressive play. It was. He probably still dies, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bad thing about this game. Even when you play badass, you can still... Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, I like it. Is that Rackin so we can vibe? Rackin I, is that out while <laughs> See, I don't I don't watch a lot of the micro pausing stuff, so this to me is really cool to see in action. Yeah, it's uh like I don't know, for me, man, I really enjoy playing no pause and I really like playing pause too, but uh -huh. it's all for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Like I love the hecticness of no pause. I like trying to push it as far as I can. Mm -hmm. And then I love the like minute details you can work out and play and pause and being able to pull stuff pull stuff off like, uh-huh you know, it's it's yeah awesome. this this makes me want to try some of that micro pause to see the skill expression that people are using yeah. really impressive that's cool finally through result and shields but needs a dodge here's three missiles incoming a single dodge uh oh uh oh one two oh, oh, oh one dodge <laughs> <laughs> look at him go uh all right, one health and a dream, chat. One health and a dream. So what does he tough, shoot at? Man. Does he shoot at me? I think he got to go for missiles here. Okay. Otherwise, you... Uh... Will his cloak be up in time for the overcharge? That's what I'm wondering. I feel it's going to be yeah, really kinda, close. I kind of missed it. Nice. Okay. Missiles going down is huge. Okay, missiles down. He will have cloaking up. Oh, does he do just, it? Just based on the timer, though. One shot. Let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> he flipped off the FTL. <laughs> Way to go. Awesome, dude. One health kill. He's got it. <laughs> that was sick. Uh, GG empowered. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Oh, that's some impressive play right there. Yeah, that was awesome to watch, man. What was that? It was about 69.40-something, something, I think. Something, yeah. Uh, that, was, that was great. <laughs> I love it.
uh love love the tech, dude love the celebration too <laughs> yep. i think i might have saw some fuftl in there <laughs> i agree <laughs> i think that was the first thing you said exactly as much hole as was needed calculated yep. chat absolutely calculated <laughs> that was awesome well uh we are i think going to reveal the winner in a bit um but uh again even though uh they both won there is some score calculation divided by time and uh Kasalian, i believe is going to be doing that behind the scenes yep and i think we're going to take a very short break here to uh to work out all that stuff so all right so we're going to take a break and we will be back in just a bit my friends All righty, my friends, we are back with Herpix. Um, Powers took a little bit longer on a break, so we just kind of decided to jump back in. And uh, Herpix, that was a pretty good run. How did you feel about that run? Yeah, that was a fun run. Uh, <laughs> I told you, a free flag every time. <laughs> <laughs> the scary part was when you counted us down, 3, 2, 1, everything went silent for me. So basically, <laughs> not even game audio. I didn't have it. And so I couldn't restart the game and everything because it would take time. Right. So later on, I bought sensors just because I could hear the audio cues, like uh, breach and the fires on my ship. So it was pretty funny. Yeah, that so, makes sense. We were uh, we were wondering about that. So basically, Herpix was playing on extra hard mode with no audio, <laughs> no missile shots. You know. <laughs> right. So uh, well, that was a, that was a really good run. Me and Farb were talking. There was some interesting divergence between the two. Uh, you got that free flak. You got that. You told us free fire beam. You were just thinking about using a little bit. Yeah, maybe for I watch FTI, you know. <laughs> maybe, maybe in a future run we can get some memes going. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but I think we're all wondering who the winner was. So if uh, if Cassani is ready and we can reveal what was the final score, what do we got? For her picks, FTL score of oh. sixty forty nine times sixty one. Our tournament adjusted score two oh nine. 0.65. Whoo. That was a high score you got there. 6049. Yeah, that's a lot higher than I was expecting, honestly. Yeah. It's over 6K in 61 minutes is a great run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, uh, uh, it's in the new format. So it's very interesting. Yeah. Fast yeah. Time. And for those who can't see on mobile, Empower's FTL score is 4219, time of 70 minutes. So his rating is 152. So that was much. Lower, kind of expected with the uh, longer time, I think, right? Yeah, and the, the score discrepancy is also, like, pretty substantial here, too, you know? Yeah, a whole 1,800 lower. I, I'll be yeah. honest, I didn't think it was that much lower, but Herpix with a, with a fast run with some good farm, and you had, a, you had a good run. And there's Empowers joining us. How are you feeling, sir? Hey, sorry about that. I I, uh, I thought the break was before, not after. The no worries. No worries. <laughs> okay, right. Her picks, right. I'm giving you a virtual handshake. Great game. <laughs> you, played, you played a good run, from what I heard. I didn't see, obviously. but I Well, and, no and how did you out, feel, so. Empowers? Because that, that final boss fight, we, we could see you go, going off at the end there. Oh, my God. I thought my heart was actually going to, like, come out of my chest. It was insane. Um, yeah, I, I did not expect to win, but I, obviously, you know, I got to in these kinds of situations, you got to fight to the last. So um, I just prayed for that missile dodge, and I got it. And you know, I think we I were did. all pretty uh, impressed with that. That because you. you had five health going into yes. phase three, so yeah. you had four damage to take before you lost. So. Yeah, it was, it was <laughs> pretty rough. Um, yeah, but I mean, just in general, the run was. Hold on, let me shut my door. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I had a great time with the run. Uh, like I said uh, earlier. I have very minimal experience with playing fast, so this was definitely a switch up for me. Uh, mm -hmm. But my usual play style is like extremely slow, extremely methodical, like uh, three hour a, runs. Yeah, I keep well, exactly. I keep a spreadsheet of all my stats and all my runs and stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, my average time is 190 minutes. So <laughs> <laughs> this so, 70 minute run almost, is yeah. Pretty, yeah, yeah. So I was pushing pretty myself out of your comfort sure. zone. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But um, yeah. I think you did a really good job adjusting from Thank what you. I've watched you play and stuff. And thanks. I'm well, yeah, sure I, this was I a, was, a, go ahead, Ren. I was sorry. I was just, I didn't mean to talk over you far. I was very mm -hmm. impressed with your play. Like, Thank you. I think, I think chat as well was uh, pretty impressed to come, come back from that far behind. Unfortunately, your tournament score was low because of the low FTL score. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do about that in the in the next match. Maybe I can make a comeback, you know. Right. Force but it to the third of, game, but we'll see. That's yeah, right. But, speaking of that, we are doing a best threes. of three. That phase three is, I think, like a hundred score more. <laughs> like the rating score. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Insane. yeah, and while we're actually talking about the score, um, so just to show a little difference in the uh, like tournament rating, um, under the first formula we used, Herpix would have had a 220 and M would have had a 144. Oh, okay. okay. I like this one more then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this adjustment is slowly moving towards that faster time being important, right? Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, I think I think that was a really great first run. We're definitely going to have a second run, and we're going to take a little bit of a break to set up for that. But we want to let chat know uh, that when we go to break, there is going to be a QR code that you can scan. Uh, Nateni in chat, who's created a couple different FTL um, kind of quizzes, a fun thing you can do uh, while we're on break. So uh, much thanks to, to Nateni for that. Uh, any last words from our players before we go on break? Uh, thank you, chat, for all of the, uh, the the nice words about the clutch there. I appreciate it. <laughs> and Herpix, congrats on getting the, the first win. Yep. Thank you. And uh, I think we're going to go on break, and uh, we'll be back in a bit. And y'all enjoy an FTL quiz in the uh, off time. Sorry, sorry. I am I'm trolling a chat. You welcome, know? welcome back. I love the troll chat. <laughs> Can y'all hear me now? It. Yeah. Okay, yep. that's my bad. We are okay. back with the uh the successful and uh one up of one oh herpix, who as a reminder, this is a best of three, so we go until somebody wins two. Uh I just I'm I'm really good at streaming chat. I'm really good. Um <laughs> but uh <laughs> how are you feeling, Herpix, after the first win? Did you feel pretty good about that one? Yep. I'm satisfied with that score. Well, um, we're gonna we're gonna pick our ships pretty quick here, so that we give uh, Cassilian time to get those images. So, um, Far, what ship do you want to pick as your uh, first ship for the next one? Hmm. Yeah, are we doing the the rock and crystal thing? I'm I'm down. All right, I'll I'll, I'll pick crystal. A. All right, Far goes with crystal. A. I'm gonna pick Roxy. And the reason these ships are uh, interesting to chat is that they start with a crystal crew. So if they find rock homeworlds, there's a chance at crystal homeworlds. So um, I believe that there is a chat uh, poll going on that will probably get the um, uh, the third ship soon. But I did want to mention while we're waiting for that, that uh, empowers with your really cool run. We were all pretty psyched to see you celebrating. Do you want to plug your stream real quick for us to tell us where uh, folks can find you? I would love to. Yeah, thank you, Rand. Yeah. Um, so like Rand just said, um, I I am a streamer. Uh, I, I stream at FTL Streak Runs. Uh, my streak is currently at 42. So if if you guys want to come join me, see some more some more epic comeback wins like that. <laughs> so give him oh. powers a follow. He can hit affiliate soon, I believe he said. We uh, lost them, I think. Uh, we lost him for a bit. Well, uh, Herpix, do you also stream? I'm wondering, Are you? do you ever do any there streaming? No, I have a YouTube channel, but I mainly post uh, like <laughs> Balatro stuff there or any game I like, basically. Like if if I have a game in particular. Sorry about great. The, uh... I've been hooked. Yeah. All right, nice. Well, we'll, we'll have to uh, we'll have to get your your YouTube channel. If you post that in the Discord, I can add that to our uh, our link too. That's fine. Uh, Powers, you're back. I think you're back, yeah. right? Sorry about that. Yeah, but uh, I I wanted to say, Rand, I told you this earlier, but. Uh, to all the chatters watching, you know, Rand actually is like probably the main sort of reason that I started streaming FTL. He's a, he was a big uh, inspiration Sick. to me. I, I watched, I started like getting really into his runs like last summer when I was like trying to beat all the ships for the first time on hard. And uh, I was like, damn, that looks fun. I want to do that. I want to win streak and I want to stream it and get fucking mad at FTL. Um, and I don't, Man. I don't get it. I don't get as mad as Rand. So if you want to see someone like cussing <laughs> out the game like that, you know, like that, that well, maybe. I gotta say that's impressive. You started just last year and already had a 42 streak, man. That's some, that's some skills you've been building, man. So that's Thank that's you. awesome. I appreciate your your shout out as well there. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Rand. Well, and also we got a shout out Farb because Farb is the other Rand and I am the other Farb. Also, you need to check sure. out Farb stream over there, who was one of the the second ever to get uh, Harbonopause cycle. Is that right? Yep, Scott got it 
like a month or two before me and then i uh i followed suit so there you go you got so you got some ftl i don't know um degenerates here really is what we are playing <laughs> so much ftl but it looks like we got our uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we got our three ships so i believe is it whoever won they get first choice on if Luminaries. they ban or not so uh herpix you want i'm yeah herpix you won so do you want to ban first or do you want to let empowers ban first uh i was the loser i'm sorry i got it backwards uh sorry we are not crystal a how did you say crystal b oh, i said crystal a but it's okay Just oh you're pretend right it's blue yeah pretend it's the blue <laughs> crystal <laughs> so i guess that means the powers you get to choose do you want to ban or do you want to pass to herpix to ban um hmm Trying to trying to make the game theory optimal choice here, quote Greedo. <laughs> um, uh, let's let's let her pick spam first again. Okay. All right. Uh, stealth A. I like that ship. Rock C is an interesting one for sure, but I think uh, I would rather play Crystal A. So, yeah, I will ban Rock C. Ban Rock C. All right. All right. Empowers. What you got? What you want to ban? Oh, uh, it's tricky. It's really tricky, right? Because Crystal A has the, the, the crystal homeworld potential hype. Mm -hmm. But Stealth A is also just a better ship, in my opinion. Uh, Agreed. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's. I'm going to ban Crystal A. No no, Chris, no crystal sector hype for now. But yeah, I want <laughs> yeah, scanners. Right. I'm going to start with scanners. Maybe we love the stasis spot, you know. And you want to go fast with that Stealth A. So it looks like we exactly. got Stealth A for the next one. All right. Let's do so it. Awesome. So that Stealth A will be the ship. Uh, we're going to get it set up. I'm going to get a uh, seed ready here. So while he is transitioning, if you all get on Stealth A, I'll get ready to set up your seed here. <laughs> I like the, the ship rename. All right. So here, <laughs> here is the seed. Seed number is 987. Uh, uh, six, six, seven, five, four. All right. looks like we've got the same seed. We have many, the, how many free flex on this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least three. <laughs> At least three. So we have the salute, I think, versus the dynamite salesman. Perfects, are you ready? Yep. And powers, Good luck. Good are luck. you? Have fun. You ready? Uh, yes. yes, I'm ready. Sorry. <laughs> Good luck, Herpix. Good luck. All right. Hopefully, Herpix audio works this time, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Here we go. Countdown in three, two, one, go. Random. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> three, two, one, random. That's right. <laughs> I was like, whoops, we changed ships. Uh, disqualified. <laughs> yep. All right. So, what are your thoughts on the Stealth A, Farb? Uh, awesome ship just really really strong interesting that uh herpix took the crew in that first event and empowers went for scrap yeah yeah also instant... nasty first ship here Oof. oh wow yeah instant disruptor with a combat drone and a heavy laser <laughs> i'm just not realizing his dual lasers are down oh but he got a weapon hack too oh and herpix rolled a, a pilot hack uh -oh. Ooh, this is a rough start i wonder if we're getting a quick reset or not yeah uh... Oh no. Oof. I just got to realize this dual is or isn't on. Otherwise, yeah. the mini beam. Oh, there, there it goes. is. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. This is like, uh, this is stealth B nightmare, but stealth A is, is still pretty tough. It's still pretty tough with that hack, man. And I guess this shows a little bit of what the seating does, even though it's the same exact ship. It's uh, the hack oh, did hit a different oh, system. That was so lucky. Yeah, and it, it really like. It also puts on display just one little difference in a fight and what it can do. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's got a double fire no two. Yeah, I might just have to run here, especially if the weapons stay intact. Yeah, he's still he's taking nine damage. Man, that weapon hack is so brutal, man. Perfect sold a beam drone over there. <laughs> oh, time, they thought they were making it easier on themselves to choose stealth A, and the game is not. Not making it easy. Okay, let's see. Does he get that weapon offline? Yeah. I think the main thing. Okay. Get the drone. Okay. Oof, All right. Okay. So he can probably win now. Mm-hmm. 12 that damage. Spooky. Oof. 
12 damage, but good play to recover. You were right. He was delayed on swapping his weapons out. Can he recover the O2? He should be fine. Yeah, he should be fine. You know, really, M and I had a discussion during uh, during the break that he was going to do some things for entertainment purposes. And I think that's <laughs> what's happening. No, I'm kidding. But no, it's a uh, really shaky start, man. Oof, that's spooky. All he's, the fire he's... spread to weapons here, too. Oh, jeez. Uh, and who took the crew? It was it was Herpix that took it. He Herpix could use that extra it, crew yeah. right now. <laughs> Man, that's no, about as brutal a start you can get on this ship. It is. He's been really unlucky. And well, I think here, since his uh, mini beam went down, I was going to say, I think you want to go for the drone. Yeah, oh, God. Because he, he, he actually took this fight before repairing up, didn't he? Yeah, and I didn't catch if it was if he was able to skip it or not either. But yeah, oh, he's got a man. That was that was disruptor into auto assault ship, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. All right, he's got a oh, he's got to get his O2 up so his crew doesn't die. Yep. He's got to get that heal bay fixed. Okay, his O2's back. Ford Scout certainly not skippable. Yeah, that's what I I didn't think. I feel like I wouldn't be willing to not take a fight to. Okay, now he's safe, but now his O2 is back low. Uh-huh. Oh, man. This is brutal for him. Yeah, he has not had good RNG to start today's oh. runs. And the guy gets out, too. Oh, that is rough. Oh, the fire spread from sensors. Okay, he saves his crew. got it fixed. So Herpix is in a spot where you could sell scanners for shields here, and I think I would have. Okay. But I'd also have the uh, the weapon buffer already, so maybe I'd, it'd be a little different spot for me. Oh, the, his oh, uh, human's going to die. Geez, oh, One health oh, human. Oh. I think he needs to delay, uh, stop getting that cloaking fixed and get that guy up there. FTL is mad at M for <laughs> For dodging losing. those missiles. <laughs> yeah, for not losing the last run. Wow. And it is out to kill him. <laughs> wow, that is Brand, uh, M in Discord just asked M, or I'm getting my names backwards. M asked in Discord to Rand, Rand, what is the seed, man? <laughs> <laughs> he took time to. <laughs> uh, well, the seed loves love Herpix, it. I'm telling you. Yeah. It's, uh, it is the it is the M killing seed, is what this is apparently. It was really nice stabilization by him here, though. Didn't lose a crew. It's still alive <laughs> after all the brutalness. He's alive. He's got a store. He's going to have to spend scrap on repairs, I think. Oh, yeah, well, for sure. I mean, he's got cloaking, but oh, that's going to put him so far behind getting shields or anything. So one thing to point out, and it's easy to make the oversight, is in that fight... Um, after the weapon hack, it took him about four or five seconds or so to realize that the mini beam was the weapon online and mm -hmm. not the dual laser. So then he had to wait another, you know, 10 seconds minus training mm -hmm. to uh, to fire the dual laser. And that delay just like really added to everything. Yeah, it's That's a good a reminder. Ship for her picks. Sorry, oh, go yeah. ahead. I was going to say, it's a good reminder that weapon positioning, whether it's in the first or second position, can actually be a big deal. Oh, yeah. can be a huge deal. I think I skipped this ship. For her oh, is he going for it? He's thinking. It's, yeah. <laughs> he's going. It's not, like, terrible, but that pike beam can tear you up. Yeah, he's going to take him at least two volleys to get through. There's, okay. And power just healed, so he's back in it. Yeah. So it's a good recovery. Still a bad start. And he didn't lose crew. That was some really good micro again. And Powers might be having rough runs, but he is showing some skill. There's that pike beam. Nope. Oh, Herpix just did some weapon swapping there. That was really smart. That uh, was well played. Got the dual laser shot off, swapped weapons with the paws, got mini beam shot through. Well played. So, Madman, what I'll say is the stealth ships definitely have some variance in not being able to you know to have shields early um but i think stealth a is the best at negating that variance because mm -hmm. of your cloaking and your fast weapons and stuff but as you see agree. things that happened to m are you know somewhat likely to happen sometimes and that's just part of the whole game 
Yeah, and I mean, you could think about it. There are a lot of ships that if they got a first jump weapon hack, that would be a huge problem. Right. So, even with a shield up, man. Yeah, even with shields. <laughs> yeah, combat drone heavy and weapon hack. That's about that's about the worst you can get in a first jump. Except tough. except maybe a shield hack. Herpix uh, took a three. cheap door upgrade though. Interesting. What sector did he go into? Civilian and he got a door sector. upgrade. Yeah, it was at the end of the it was like the last beacon of the sector. We'll have to ask him about that one. Well, he's got a bunch of scrap and I think it was fifteen for what I saw. Oh, was it was a cheap the cheap deal? Okay. Uh, I, I also I also like what he's doing with uh stacking the weapons room here against the ship just to uh, get a faster repair. repair yeah okay well That's and empowers just got a free defense drone so he did he, he needs some free stuff too he does i think he's got an outpost so this this fight right here could be a double reward is that a defense two he's fighting it looks like it oh. he's making he's making faces and pointing at it and stuff yeah. so it's gotta be right <laughs> yeah empowers man i feel bad <laughs> i feel bad i know all right, he got the drone go. offline. That's, That's good. But the mini beam is still good. up. I swear, oh, these system case and coming in clutch. Oh, did there. he just resist? <laughs> yeah, into the weapons too. I swear, these seeds have had so many rebel riggers and disruptors. This has not been a good time. He got a free fire beam, I think. <laughs> yeah, fire beam in the. He's got heavy laser two pike beam at that store. Yep, and no systems, so he can't yeah. buy shields here. No shields. Uh, he's in civilian oh. sector. I'm almost leaning towards pass to look for another store. <laughs> I'm uh, as mad about the shield hack from this event. <laughs> <laughs> is this the free shield hack event? Yeah, it <laughs> That's is. Funny. Well, Herpix is taking his time. What's the play, Herpix? What's the play? Skip. I think skip look for another store in shields is a, not a bad play. Yeah. Um... <sighs> The heavy laser is the heavy laser is that tempting you? It's kind of interesting. I think I probably take it in a normal run just because then it's it gives me four shots. Mm -hmm. But also, yeah, you had uh, the other store here too. There's the shield. So now it's probably just shield. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see page two. I don't think there are any weapons on page two, so probably just drones. Man, all these uh, all these pike beam ships <laughs> with some shields now for empowers. Uh, poor empowers. He he thinks I have it out for him with this seed. I know. <laughs> Kid's getting tagged in the weapons too. He does. I will say, pike beam and mini beam are two of the worst things because those undodgeable right. weapons for your shieldless ship can really be rough. And the pike beams are rough too because you can, uh, if you only do one damage, it's staying up. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's thinking about that rock crew. No surrender. Man, he's back down to eight health and he had repaired up to like 20 earlier. Nope. Oh. Tail's not being nice to him. No. It's one of these days. One of these days. Tanya, it's because it was supposed to kill him last round. <laughs> he's one scrap short of shields here, too. Oh, man. He can sell. The, well, he's got that fire beam to sell, so he could find it if, if he's got a store. Yeah, Raka, I I just look at it like, you know, it's you're 25 and 35 scrap away from using it with the dual laser. And then it's just something to have. And I don't know how much consideration I take the, the second store into there. But I probably want shields here. So it's like it's so it's so tough, man. Yeah, it's one of those tough choices. It's like I feel like there's arguments either way. Yeah, I agree. I'm just going to be coming up to the, so, uh, the store here, too. Yeah, hopefully he can live another disruptor with the combat drone. He is. <laughs> it's brutal, man. Mm -hmm. He got a dodge on that first combat drone. Not bad, not bad. That's coming towards weapons. You gotta, I think you got a cloak there. Yeah, I think you do. Yeah. Yeah, Herpix with the shields. He's again a half sector ahead, but he's had a much easier sector one. I think. That's true. I think that big that one weapon hack 
has put M Power so far behind. Yep. It's really, crazy. really hurt. That, that that one little bit of RNG can make such a huge difference. Yep. Good fight though. I think he took one or no damage there. I mean, extending that into a normal run too. You just like, you never know what the one jump is gonna do. Mm -hmm. Also, um, Herpix must have had a quest because he had a he had a store below this store, so it must have been a quest because it was oh. tough to read. Because it's yeah, not there for M. That is weird. So I, I think we just missed that, but that has to be the case. It was a quest store. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was a quest. Okay. Yeah. So in M spot, I probably I probably want to take the heavy. Yeah, since you don't have shield option. Although, yeah, you're still in a civilian sector with another store. Yeah, at least one guaranteed one other. other. Yeah, he's thinking. He's thinking. And he's not that far behind Herbix, honestly. He's just he's behind on systems. That that right. Saying like I'm can already run the the heavy here. Mm-hmm. Which I think I think that's the play. Yeah, because you're you're starting to wanna just be able to kill ships already. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. Like the mini the mini beam is great. But the, the heavy lets you do a lot of damage to one system. Oh, he got the mini beam online too. Oh That's wow, okay. He's uh he's going the best defense is a good offense strat. I yeah. I like it. I think he might be looking at it like he doesn't have shields, so he's trying to do the next best thing to keep himself mm -hmm. safe. Well he actually has a safe fight here with the only only the ion spinner mantis fighter. Yeah, this is the the stealth B training dream. There you go. <laughs> where you spend an hour and a half toggling your your beam on and off. Uh huh. While slowly training. Herpix your is dog. in sector three already, and I think this is like four jumps into sector two for M. Yeah. Yeah, Herpix is uh, he's he's had he's had smoother runs, but he's also been playing well and fast. So mm -hmm. looks like he has a free Hermes too. Yeah, free Hermes. He's got second shield. He has not done any. So this is uh, the tale of two builds: the uh, defensive shield build versus the no shields all offense build. <laughs> right. And uh, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if Empowers is considering a crew kill here, because he's looking at the heal bay. Yeah, I think that's what he was going for. Uh huh. Oh, that fire in there is huge. Keeps the NG out. But I think he's gonna have to. Um... Bio do bio swipe. swipes yeah yeah it's gonna be tough i don't know if you go for it here yeah bio swiping is yeah time Rocco. consuming it is all right he did it's it well nice but the second shot hit <laughs> he's gonna have to depower the uh dual laser at the right time all right to only get one shot he deep power he does okay all right one bio fire swipe. the fire is gonna burn him out yeah yeah he might be looking at it like he's just trying to get any advantage at this point yeah he probably feels behind which is yeah. understandable with how that start went but he could get a second store and get some shields mm, he's a little bit behind on scrap actually with those weapon upgrades so shields are a little bit far away yeah Honestly, don't hate it. I like. I, I. I think it's fairly decent for this to to do the shieldless strat in um spot. Yeah, mm -hmm. where you know he didn't have the other store. He's looking at it like he's already been getting kicked down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know. The, his weapon setup is basically an endgame setup too. So it's true. It's like, that is true. He's just got to find himself a way to get shields. Yeah, he basically went, I'm going to get my offense online now, and then I'll just get my defense when I can. And he can he can end fights quickly with this, if he can yep. survive the first volleys. Herpix is just, he is he's cruising along, I swear. Uh, he is. His, he's got the... 
He's got the orange Jesus with him today. Yeah. You know, and like where you don't really want to use the Hermes, it's so nice to have in this spot too, because where it's like expensive to build in, it's at least still something to build into. True. And you know, it can take uh it can take two shields offline if there's no buffer. Or, you know, take three damage into weapons as well. That's true. If he just gets a weapon value, he has that option for certain fights. Right. m has got an asteroid field and another hazard here. And I think, yeah, he's choosing to go around this into a store, which is tough. Mm -hmm. There's those yeah. shields. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, with how he started and how much he's spent on repairs, he's not in a terrible spot. No, he's not. He probably feels worse than we think it looks, though. <laughs> I know I feel <laughs> bad like in Sector too. 2, and I've not got my shields on Stealth A yet. Right. He's trying to figure out how he doesn't have to go to these. What was that other... I missed what the other... I think it was an was. asteroid... I, I, uh, you know, I might have missed it. I saw Herpix go through those earlier, but he yeah. had shields. And I think I saw him have shields in an asteroid field, so I, at least one of those is that. Yeah, the left one was a uh, was the asteroid field, but I don't know what the the right one was. Okay. Yeah, that's true, Raka. You do have a point. Like having cloaking and the starting weapons is just like they're so strong. Mm -hmm. It's one reason why the ship is good. Like you, you, you have a starting setup that you don't have to find a bunch of stuff to still be viable. Right. You're not NGB where you can only get through one shield. <laughs> Yeah, without doing a bunch of shenanigans. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Let's see what M Powers goes. Does he decide to go into one of these uh, hazards? Okay, he's going around the one on the left. I'm guessing the one on the left is a solar flare. Or was that the one that was the asteroid field you said? The, yeah, the left one was the asteroid field. I didn't catch the right one. Okay. I felt like it looked like a sun, but I'm not, okay. I'm not sure. You still don't really want to go to that either. Which which are you more afraid of with no shield? Solar flare, asteroid field? Um, it's tough, man. Yeah. The the asteroid fields come slower at you with yeah. no shields, right? There's that for your um, armies. But you're just you're leaving yourself exposed to a lot of RNG with both. Yeah. So I don't know. If I had to choose, I'd probably take Asteroid Field because at least I can cloak Asteroids and you can't cloak a sun. <laughs> That's true. But they're uh, they're both not ideal for Shield the Ship. That's pretty nasty. Nice free rock for him. Looks All like right. uh, Herpix got that too. Yeah, you're right. He's got that rock pilot. I'm thinking he's about a half sector ahead because I, I think he... I think is still in Sector three and herpix i mean empowers just hit sector three. Oh, i didn't catch if they're in different sectors either because there's I no think... nebula in the in the rock world yeah i need to check it when uh, herpix finishes fight it's also interesting i don't know if uh like with rock sectors and them it's a really small thing, but the rock sectors and them having rock plating makes it uh, can make your fights take longer. Oh, well, that's true. That's true. With their resists, so it looks like Herpix is in sector three. So Empowers has caught up a bit. He's in Rebel, and yeah, did Empowers so they... take rock? Yeah. Yep. Okay. A little difference there. So you gotta watch out for that uh, rock live mine. But he's got he's got three rock waters right now. Is that what he's dealing with, or two yep. rock waters? Uh, I, yeah, it was two or three. I think they're stacked on each other, or one died or something. I don't know. Not a fun spot either. No, way. no, two shields, a missile, and boarding. When you are, uh... I mean, he's dealing with it. Yeah, it is three rock borders. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that, I think that must have been a free boarding event because, yeah, there's no teleporters. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, rock borders. Gotta love them. Yeah, and I'm with the, the weapons too. It makes it like a lot better to uh, get through two shields when you, get, when you have your four shots. All right. We get the close up on uh, Empowered and his. Uh... 
<laughs> and powers and is <laughs> rock boarding. <laughs> All right, looks like he's got it. Oh man, we're focusing on powers a lot, but I feel like empowers is the uh, the underdog with all these <laughs> crappy events right. he's gotten today. Like the the state of the run, like Herpix is kind of smooth sailing currently. I um, was uh, been trying to get himself stable here. Mm -hmm. Herpix, uh, he's just buy mind control. Have your well, there's no hacking, which is probably what he's hoping for. Yeah. I I probably still buy mind control just to get it. Yeah, and he's got a That'd bunch cool. of scrap too, and he needs a little help offensively going into uh, sector four here because he's Agreed. still on the starting weapons. Yeah. So it's actually worth considering the drone control with the combat drone, but I uh -huh. also don't mind getting the Hermes online here either. I also don't mind. I think there was an Ion Blast Mark One. I. I wouldn't mind just getting was that. I think there was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would that'd that be now. okay too. But uh, he's gonna just stick stick with starting offense, just trusting in uh, <laughs> no three shield ships in sector three, I guess. I think it was Mark two. Uh, I, I didn't catch that one. Oh, was it Ion two? Okay. Yeah, and SD. I think you'd really want to consider teleporter in a in a standard run in that spot, right? But for this, you're looking at it like it's gonna take too long. It's gonna put me behind my opponent. I'm finally gets his shields here. Yeah. So now he's feeling a lot, lot better. That's true. And he's got the offense with the shield. So yep, yep. he's he's probably looking at a fast, a faster run from this point. Yeah. And it, it, it having shields here makes it like so much better for him too. So it's that's really good. After the the brutalness of FTL that we were so lucky to witness. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're really getting to see some skillful play recover from these rough, uh, rough starts. Yep. Uh, good, here's free borders for her good decision making, too. Mm hmm. We got a rebel rigger, offensive drone, free borders. Man, free boarding events are uh, kind of kicking them right now. They are. I know. Pretty good fight for him here. Just needs two damage to be safe. Mm -hmm. Herpix got a kind of gross fight going on, honestly. Yeah, Rebel Rigger with boarding and drones and missiles. Yep, and only and it has two shields, and he was only got two shots for it. Mm -hmm. But this is where the mind control comes into play as well. Uh huh. Because you know, if you're using it offensively, it helps you. Uh, hopefully land those two shots that you need mm -hmm. nice dodge there yeah nice uh nice power and pause manipulation there mm -hmm. good fight oh three verse three that's huge okay i'm got a free pike beam that's also nice all right well these seeds might suck but they're getting their free weapons at least <laughs> that's true they're, they're earning these free weapons that's for sure they are <laughs> Impressive barrage, that's right. Uh, let's see what he's doing. He's getting it looks like he's gonna go. He's thinking about getting that burst laser three online now. Which I don't I'd know. really be considering that Hermes, honestly. Yeah. Go what dual laser Hermes or all the way in to get the Hermes all the way up with the dual and the mini beam? I'd really want them all. Okay. Um but at least being able to run the Hermes with something else is also passable, kind of. Because you shoot the Hermes and then you you switch. Mm -hmm. Which I I guess you could do with just build. three weapon power, but then you're that, that's tough, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's a slow it's a slow fight if you do that. Yeah, but I guess the thing is is with mind control, if you Hermes the weapons. And then wait for mind control to hit it on the broken system. Mm -hmm. Then you're distracting more crew, and then you can switch to the dual laser mini beam a little freer. But yeah. nice find on the store here. Okay, yeah, whole laser one I like a lot here. Yeah, I think it, it's almost got to be the buy and get it online, like right away oh yeah it's I mean, he's already got the buffer so yeah he just needs one more power and weapons we got we got plenty of scrap he got the backup battery okay feeling a lot better about offense with this build yep 
he's still pretty close to hacking territory. I think, uh, like, I, I think he had to do what he just did. Mm -hmm. So I like it. All right. Well, it's funny. We had a very different path, but they're they're kind of they're kind of back to parody a bit here. Yeah, they are. I think um, whose weapon system you like better? You like Empowers better? I do. Yeah, mainly for end game purposes. Mm -hmm. Just the yeah. the little extra oomph from the heavy two is is super good. Oh uh, yeah, it's quite good at crew killing too, which can be useful in certain fights. During the tournament, you should award extra points to players who defeat the flagship using a burst three or chain ion. I like it. Um, and some, artillery gets you extra points. Uh, have some hidden score modifiers <laughs> in there. I like it. Use suboptimal builds, get rewarded, huh? Well, you'll need those extra points because the run will take you about 20 minutes longer <laughs> using <right>. those uh, <laughs> builds. It's true. <laughs> Uh, what sectors are we looking at here? How close are we? I need to take a look. Yeah, I gotta look too. Uh, I feel like I'm still in sector three, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Yeah, Herpix was ahead, but I feel like M is caught up a decent amount here. Towers. Oh, yeah, going into sector going. four, slug home nebula. Okay, and I think Herpex hasn't been there for too long. So yeah, because he just he had the store with the whole laser here. Okay. Oh wow, Herpex is doing the he's doing the crew kill. Wait, he's doing the crew kill. He's doing the uh, what is it called? The coffin ship crew kill. <laughs> yeah. That is patient. I I think this is way too slow. Yeah, I agree, and I I think an M spot. I don't really know if i'd be considering too much maybe just he, although he does go he does have a little bit to sell i feel like i would want to keep for hacking but he opts for the the cloaking upgrade which is actually really good you and like the I'm, upgrade there i do i also like it early sometimes depending on on the run just because it gives so much safety and like you're, you're basically getting two volleys almost three sometimes okay for yeah free. i i guess i'm i'm afraid of not having to scrap for that hacking but it's uh, it gets you a yeah. lot of safety yeah and this is slug home nebula so he does have a guaranteed second store so he, he has time to still look for hacking yeah um, and he does he does have the pike beam and recharge booster to sell too okay picks decided to not get the level 202 upgrade in a slug sector how often do you do that upgrade uh very seldom really yeah you you feel like you can kill the enemy fast enough that you don't need it yeah and ooh, that was unlucky ooh, yeah bad hit that um i don't know it really comes down to how flush on scrap i'm feeling and mm -hmm. you know but a lot of the times I'm just, I'm passing on it anyway. It just, uh, I'm all about the keeping my scrap for the things I need to win unless I have to survive. Okay. And that's, that's what And I'm if you have about. five crew, you're not too worried about yeah. level 202. Right. And then you have the, the med bay and, and stuff too. And, I don't know. A lot of the times you're going to be able to uh, end the fight before it's irrelevant. So it just comes down to being able to read your position and mm -hmm. you know knowing what a average fight's going to look like for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're on the same fight. They're yeah. on the exact same fight right now. That's crazy. That's cool. And take stock. So 66 scrap. Perfect's at 101. He's got less weapon power. He's got the mind control. This is again. These these have been two close runs. Mm -hmm. Nobody's running away with it either time. Yeah, it's been a uh, been a lot of fun to watch. So be prepared when we play. You're gonna get so far ahead that uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a landslide. That's my that's my prediction. I I don't know, man. I uh, I've done no preparation other than thinking about it. <laughs> I was doing. I don't know. I did two runs the other day on stream and it was seven and a half hours. So 
So is no preparation <laughs> worth more than playing hard mode no pause three hour runs lately? Which is better preparation? Because oh, that's what were, I've been doing. <laughs> there were pause runs for me. Oh, were they? You were practicing yeah, with no. pause? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I've, I've been feeling like going for a pause streak, so I decided to. Yeah, I saw that on your stream the other day. You were doing, yeah. Have you done a full pause streak before? Uh, my pause PB is 21. Okay, all right. And that was a couple of years ago at this point. I was at my other house. Do you remember the streak killer on your pause run? <laughs> yeah, I misplayed on rock B. I couldn't tell you exactly anymore. I just remember I messed something up and it killed me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same hole too. This is uh, <laughs> this is this is crazy how close these uh, these two runs have been. Yeah, it is. It's also kind of wild how uh, Empowers managed to to catch up. Yeah, to be here with his crappy start, right? I guess he is behind a system. That's probably the one thing you could say. He's behind a system in scrap, and I think that's all the repairs he had to make from that rough start. Yeah, I agree. But he has managed to put himself in a pretty good situation. So, mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's something to talk about. If you take a bunch of damage, but you make the same amount of scrap, you spend it all on repairs, you still have an equal score, right? Because spending on repairs isn't like you're losing out on scrap or anything, right? Right, right. It's all just uh, your scrap game. So, then the fights and beacons and stuff. Means you might be behind in buying what you want, but it doesn't mean you're necessarily behind in score. That is not a great store that <laughs> no. <laughs> Herpix is in, and M is probably going to find himself in here shortly. Oh, there's another one. Nice. Let's see. Store take two. There's the hacking. Right. There it is. Herpix systems are done. Yep. That's always a great feeling to me. The, the point where I have cloaking, hacking, mind control, even if I'm behind on other things, it always just feels like, okay, if I don't misplay, it's in my hands, you know? Yeah, Rekka, I don't think he knew Slug was coming up, though, right? When he made that choice. Oh, he I bought mind control a sector or two ago, I think. Yeah, that's so. what I thought. It was in, like, sector three. So, yeah, I guess you could say it's wasted, but... I don't know. The other thing is, although you want something probably better than the whole laser, um, Herpix just needs scrap to win at this point. Just mm -hmm. start upgrading your ship. I think the um, general combat one is better for shield penetration, huh? Oh yeah, I I agree. I'm. I think I felt like I talked about that too. Yeah, you 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 suggested that a combat one buy at that store. Yeah. Worry about mind control was worth. It's just like when you're when you're trying to think about how you play your standard run and then apply it to this it's like how do you how do you know which way to go you know mm -hmm. i'm about to see this hacking here i'm pretty sure yep nice <laughs> thumbs up <laughs> that's right i like it oh, okay he's gonna upgrade into the pike beam and get the hacking it looks like okay i don't mind it but i it's slower right yeah it's it's slower but it's a little more damage and he might be looking at it like he's gonna shield hack or something oh, that's true that's true but he does have cloak hack cycle if he wants it now right i guess they both do honestly although that, i've got to say that's a slower way to play right yeah exactly i was gonna say that's another thing to consider here like where it's safer and just like better for consistency as M um, gets a free ion bomb here mm -hmm. nice. um, you gotta consider like is it faster like, like how much do i value all that you know so i think herpix just got a free ap drone well and he just took an extra dive so he's gonna he's gonna take an extra ship fight then dive in the slug sector so he's now behind in jumps but uh, looking to do a little bit of score farming here. Yeah. And I'm pretty confident that um, as far as how it affects the in score, uh, the in game score, the ships defeat it are like really heavily weighted in that formula. So. Oh, really? Yeah. I forget what it is exactly right now. But... Yeah. It is math on stream, so I don't blame you. <laughs> It's true. 
<laughs> That's a pretty nasty Mantis right there. A double bomber. It is. Uh, hopefully you can get some good cloaks in. I don't know. When I fight Mantis boarding with bombs, I'm always worried something like a heal bay bomb or something's going to happen. Right. He's doing that. He's pretty low on O2. Yeah, he's doing the cloak hack cycle, which while dealing with borders, I'm 100% on board with. I like I like Empower's manipulation of crew to deal with borders that I've seen him do. Mm -hmm. He did that on the boss too, where he's venting dudes out of a room, then closing the doors, getting his crew back on manning stations. That's a cool little strategy. I haven't seen him used a lot. Yeah, and it's uh, it's really good when you want them not in your important systems. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. He's going to go Mantis. So looks like Herpix is cut a jump or two behind now, but he takes the distress. Was this that fight? I feel like... Got that anti personnel to sell, like you mentioned earlier. He got for free. Oh, all right. Is this going to be that same fight? Yeah, it is. All right, <laughs> they're on the same fight again. It's oh, no. Twice that's, this run. That's so cool to see. <laughs> Let's see. So Herpix goes for the shield hack versus the weapon hack that Empowers chose. Did you get yeah, and, boarding? Uh, I think a big difference there is that M only has level one hacking so the shield hack doesn't do uh all that much for him here true that's true it's a good point oh that was a firebomb to his weapons these are a firebomb or a small bomb with a double fire either way <laughs> i think it was the firebomb because it just it broke after the bomb okay uh and yeah what it what it comes down to is you get extra like jumping to a beacon where you're killing a ship Mm -hmm. You you hit everything on the on the score formula, right? Gotcha. Because you get you get the scrap from winning the fight, you get the beacon explored, and then you get the the extra from actually killing the ship. Mm -hmm. So just like being able to win a fight, uh, like win extra fights, is really good for your score. Mm -hmm. Comes that's basically the best way to generalize it. Yeah, it almost makes you think: Are distress beacons worth going to? Because free stuff is great. But it's probably less likely to get you a ship fight than right. just a ship fight sec, uh, beacon, you know? Right. I mean, that gets into then, for tournament scoring purposes, you're saving time, right? So right. It's, True. How does, True. How does it all fall together? You know? <laughs> it's, like, it's super interesting, man. It's like magnets. Nobody knows how it works. Nobody knows how the <laughs> FTL scoring should work in our formula. Right. There's a nice... Uh, sector update there. I didn't catch if Herpix got it. Oh, uh, sector, what, a map? Yeah, or... yeah. And another yeah. double missile mantis. This is a... And they're on the same fight again. This is... <laughs> this is my favorite when they're both right neck and neck. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, I accidentally hid my jet. Uh... M's, M is behind on hacking too, you think? Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that too. And then with a scrap total, I think it's already have a... Mm -hmm. I wonder... I mean, what's he saving for? I don't I don't know what he's saving for. I don't know either. Might just be a force of habit, actually. Uh, that was a 90% hit. 90% <laughs> equals zero. <laughs> We know that feel. Yep. Uh, you heard past ran there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice dodge. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. What what is what is your thought? Do do we think Empowers is that far behind with that bad start, or does it feel score wise that they're close? What do you think? I honestly think the dive might be the difference right now. Oh yeah, that extra uh, jump Herpix took. Yeah, it's uh, it's really hard to say though. I would go. I would guess by it's like it's like looking at items in League of Legends. I'm looking at Herpix mind control, and I'm seeing in powers, 
missing a system and lower on scrap. That makes me think he's potentially a decent chunk behind right now. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, I had to spend a scrap on things in different spots, but like, oh, I guess they took a different sector in there too. I forgot about that. But other than that, it's been like really similar to the same run. M has just uh, gotten a little or a uh, little unluckier with the nope. fights he's rolled and stuff. Did I just see a free heavy laser one? I did. Nope. Oh. Interesting. Heavy laser one over a whole laser one. Yeah, and he might be looking at it like he's going to be shield hacking. So he wants the, the added stuff from the heavy there. The fire chance and all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is just start killing ships ASAP in order to pull ahead. Yeah, I, I think I, I, I gotta feel like it's really close, man. Yeah. Yeah, it, it feels might, to me that Herpix is ahead, but it's it's hard to tell. Yeah, it might come down to just who wins faster here. Mm-hmm. Well, and you know what I didn't mention is how much more empowers it spent on weapons because he is two mm -hmm. or three weapon power ahead. So he's yeah. just spent his stuff on different stuff, his scrap on different stuff. Yeah, Herpix has four power and weapons, and I'm at six. Mm -hmm. What a... I don't know. That's that's one of those things, like, uh, whole laser one versus heavy laser one. One, you know, less power for the same amount of whole damage if you're hitting a system room. What's, what's your take? I know it depends, but <laughs> if you had to choose in his situation, which do you like better? Um... It's tough, man. It's really tough. I the heavy has to hit once to do the same amount of damage, right? Mm -hmm. And I think looking at it like you're shield hacking a lot here is probably the right way to look at it for this. Mm -hmm. I think in a normal run, I'd probably want the whole laser just because I'm gonna be doing the hack cloak cycle. Mm -hmm. I'm just found the free heavy laser. Um, yeah. So <laughs> it is faster. I, That's what I watch FTL says. It is faster. So I can see that it's faster, but then you're also still waiting for the mini beam every volley. True. And the one thing that having the whole laser has over the heavy laser is you're only hacking one volley, right? So your mm -hmm. whole laser hires the chance that you're going to be getting your mini beam off at least uh-huh while you're not hacking so sure, it's like yeah. it's it's a it's an interesting discussion i think honestly um but i think i would favor still the whole laser one as much as i love heavy lasers mm -hmm. yeah um, i think i think i'm with you i think i value that extra projectile a lot yeah especially on the three weapon slot ships mm -hmm. uh, the heavy laser just like in the later game kind of falls off by itself yeah and, that's a good point that hurts me to say a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you, you add your love for heavy lasers. Yeah. Especially comparing it to a hull laser. Like, yeah, it's a hull laser, right. man. <laughs> <laughs> Who's shooting empty rooms anyway? Right. Yeah, Herpix is sector six. Is Empowers in... I think he's still in... Five? I think he's at the end of five still, at too. end of five, yeah. yeah I, I think he's still in the, the Manta sector. Herpix, I think, just got... Is that worrying radiation? No, it's just free borders. Okay. Yeah, they got the fight where it cancels. He's got a four shield ship in Sector Six here, uh, <laughs> but it's the one that kills your weapon system. Oh, okay. Oh, it is. And he, how do you? I don't remember that event. How do you counter that? Because I don't remember my weapons going offline. It's one of the ones that can roll a shop, I think. And oh. it's uh it's one of the like super convoluted outcomes that exist okay. in slug sectors. It's probably one of those ones where I have the habit of not taking the option that could get yeah, you the exactly. weapon hack fight. Okay. Uh the rules of this format, um we are using a formula to find a tournament rating or score uh based on in-game score and time. Uh, the players are playing the same seated run uh, made possible from hyperspace and some extra things that were um, created just for the tournament style of play. <coughs> um, 
And I guess outside of that, there's no cheat engine being able to be used. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, as so far no as like, hacking. rules go outside of that, I think it's just like normal FTL play, right? I can't think of any other rules. The, uh, the only other things I'd mention that. would be if uh, there is one reset allowed in Sector 1 from... Thank you. Um, shield, hack the shield hack event, I think, is the one we're allowing. Yeah. So we did last time, and I think we still have that. This is all kind of in flux too. We can we're still discussing what we want our mm -hmm. final rule set to be. Yeah, and then there's uh, if a player dies in a sector, um, and the other player does not, but makes it to the next sector, then it's an automatic win for the player that didn't die. Uh, if both players die, I am actually now drawing a blank on. What happens if if both players die i think you can either re-roll or oh okay it comes down to score i'm being told okay yeah yeah that sounds right score if they're past sector three and then is it an option if they're not to re-roll uh i don't remember <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll find out here yeah All right. Did they choose the same sector again? Let's see. We've got another store. Does he buy the mind control? Yes, Probably, he does. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I was them, I'd be just pushing. I'd be yeah. going. I'd be not worried about taking jumps here. You're ready for the boss. Okay, so it's it's usually a restart, is what I'm hearing. Um, but it's kind of case by case. But it's usually going to end in a restart if it if both players die before sector three. Okay. Before they're in sector four, I guess mm -hmm. is the better way to say that. All right, what do we got? We got a pirate assault ship and a solar flare. Looks like uh, Empowers is starting doing the shield hack. Looks like he's trying to start speeding up rather than doing the weapon hack. Yeah. And it's Slug versus... I forget which sector Empowers in. I think they might be both in Slug 6, actually. Yeah, I'm, I missed it. I was... Uh... I was busy talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's the streamer problem, you know? Right, yeah. We love hearing ourselves talk too much. Oh, actually, Empowers is in NG. So we have NG versus Slug. It's not a not a bad choice. You can still get some free scrap and stuff, and less fights make it faster. True. Faster, <laughs> potentially lower scrap. It really gets down into the, like... You, I think you got to decide one way or the other the way that you're going to go and just mm -hmm. stick to it in terms of playing for ship kills or playing to just go win, mm -hmm. right? Less fights does equal lower score, though, but it does help your tournament rating in terms of... Um, time. Yeah, how the how the time's <laughs> applied. Well, here we go, far. We can uh, we can make a gentleman's agreement. Do you want to be the score farming guy or the time <laughs> run, speed running guy? And we'll. Well, hmm. <laughs> well, I guess I was I was kind of planning on trying to emulate Hollow's uh, speedy runs. The speedy so, runs, yeah. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to do score farming, but then I'm like, if you score farm too much, get so far behind, then you have to rush to finish. You know. Right. That's, I don't know if I can deal with that stress. True. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm envisioning myself pushing too hard and losing. Like, yeah. That is the danger, isn't run. it? So that's kind of what I've got my eyes set on. <laughs> is doing some stupid stuff and dying. Push the envelope, try to make a, a fast, entertaining run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Do it for the content. Yeah, it ran, and then we split the winnings, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We'll make sure the over-under uh, betting works out well, and then we'll split it afterwards. Yeah, I like it. Oh, wait, we're still live, aren't we? Oh, crap. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it back in the 90s? Pete Rose that got in trouble for betting on his own games? Yep. <laughs> that was at least the, the famous one. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did Empowers just hack Heal Bay? Ah, he's going for the Heal Bay hack crew kill. Interesting. Oh, he's got level 3 hacking, too. Alright, alright. Let's see. Is this, um... 
So this is Mantis on an NG ship. So this is this has to be that one event, right? The one where you could get a Mantis for free or the Mantis fight? Or are there other ships with the Mantis on an NG ship? I forget. I'm kind of drawn blank too. The one where I always try to get a free Mantis and usually take five freehold damage instead. <laughs> right. And then there's the... There's the NG protocol one, but I feel like that's an NG ship or uh, NG's on the NG mm -hmm. ship. So I'm gonna forget. All right. Is Herpix about to dive? Probably. He's been he was diving last run too when things he were was. stable. So he's in seven rock home worlds. I think Empowers I think might still be in that NG six. Yeah. He's waiting for the he's waiting for the mantis to repair heal bay so he can hack it. <laughs> All tough. right. All right. It did turn off the hacking, I think. So at least it repairs a little bit faster. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Uh, Just goes to show like how hard it is to break your normal style of play. Yeah, it's true. Right. <laughs> I think he just flipped off FTL again. All right. All right, he's going to Sector 7 now. That's uh, true. No, we would totally never rig anything, Zach Dog. That was no, that was never. that was that was fake news. Never. Oh, okay. So Herpix is uh in Rock Homeworlds. So if they picked a crystal ship, there would no, be a they could have the they could have had it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Interesting. They've kind of deviated at the end here. I think the powers have been in NG sectors these last two sectors. Yeah. With Herpix in Rock now. Yeah, I think taking NG forced M into this other NG sector here. Okay. It's great watching M celebrate with the sound off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, this is uh this is another one where I I don't I don't know who's ahead. Uh Empower's got his fourth shield. Herpix does what I do do and he just uh, scrap uh, hordes all the time. This keeps all the scrap, not spending it yet. I think it was a really big difference here is Herpix has still been taking fights and still ahead. Mm -hmm. So Herpix might have a little bit of the upper hand here. Mm -hmm. um, man, it's so hard. It's so hard to know in the moment if you just need to like. If you if you assume your opponent is ahead of you, yeah, you know, do you just go try to end the run as soon as possible? It, it's that's one thing I'm that. dreading about playing you is like I'm gonna be in my head the whole time going, <laughs> do I need to go faster? Do I need to farm more? You know, right. what is what is Farb doing? W W F B D. What would Farb do here? That's a good question. Sometimes <laughs> I don't know myself. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know until you're there and you go, well, shouldn't have done that. That was a bad yep. play. <laughs> I'm just had a drone explode. Well, it's all right though. Oh, he's got an iron intruder over there too. Yeah, and right in his cloaking. No, they're not aware of each other's progress, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, we do not want players to know what the other player is doing. That would be unfair advantage, I think, is the idea. And uh, when we do the real tournament, there will actually even be a five minute delay so that. Um, Although I think we've talked about letting the players stream on their channel for the for the event, so That's true. Well, I think the the five minute delay would still still keep that. Yeah, in, I think that would still be the really integrity, good. the uh, uh, competitive integrity, basically. Yeah, the integrity of our highly prestigious <laughs> FTL tournament that is so looked at throughout the world as the best FTL not in the world. <laughs> <laughs> although i i gotta say that us doing this another time and people having practice and people getting better over the years i'm gonna be very interested to see how good people are like a good especially the people who performed well in last tournament like hollow like if necro rebel is in it again if retreat retreat changes his style i mean it's going to be interesting to see how these other players adjust. Sure. Necro Rebel hasn't played FTL for a while now at this point. Honestly. Oh, that's true. He kind of rage quit a while back, didn't he? Yeah. So I'm wondering if he'll, uh, if he'll get back into it or not. 
Maybe maybe it'll bring him back. The million dollar FTL tourney. That's right. We're sponsored by McDonald's. Not not <laughs> hashtag not sponsored. And Red Bull. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> please sponsor us. Yes, please please sponsor <laughs> us. <laughs> Oh, okay, so Cass just told me uh, NR is interested in coming back. So let's all right, go. all right. Pull him out of retirement. Oh, yeah. that double missile fire in the weapons. Perfect. I feel that pain. I can hear past Rand's uh, <laughs> cursing already. Blank for the word, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, man, that's a triple missile ship, too. What is that? No, that's brutal. Hermes, Artemis, small bomb, something like that. Yeah, that's rough. That's gonna. That's gonna. Ooh, nice dodge there. A uh, nice dodge again. There you go. Get those dumbbell doges in. Yeah, this fight is pretty gross for her books. Yeah. It's like eventually it'll be safe, but you gotta survive the onslaught of missiles. Here's a level three cloaking. And four shields. Wow, Herpix has made some scrap. He's on four weapon power still. And one of those weapon power is a value point. <laughs> right. Okay, he's going to have a slower boss fight, I feel. And yeah, and power's in Sector 8, so... And power's just really just bought to, some time. He's trying to cook. Mm -hmm. Oh, Herpix oh. bought stealth weapons. Okay. Zach Dog, that's, uh, that's a good thing to, to keep in mind might be worth looking into um yeah be cool to have like any sort of sponsorship like that for this would be sweet just as long as it's not raid shadow legends because that's like True. every youtuber <laughs> <laughs> although i bet we Very could get raid shadow legends with how many people are sponsored by them <laughs> just kidding if they want to sponsor us i totally didn't say don't sponsor us Hey, I I did a raid sponsorship once. Did it you was, really? Uh, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> How much raid Shadow Legends did you actually play? Uh, I think I had to play two hours on stream. Okay, it's been a bit at this point, but that feels about right. <laughs> That's great. Honestly, it wasn't that bad for everything considered. You know. It was okay. just, uh, we'll just we'll just spread the word that Farb's a sellout and just let yeah, everyone exactly. know. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you twice, actually. <laughs> I sold out for so much money. I'm sure it was so much money that's so worth. Yep. Yep. Yeah, her picks. Uh, now, uh, now I feel like it is coming down to how much he can farm with how uh, he's a good half a sector behind. You know, the, the moral of the story here is support your local streamers so they don't have to... <laughs> slump so low to <laughs> play raid shadow legends on the stream. <laughs> that's right <laughs> yes uh toss your twitcher a nickel or whatever right yeah that's true rack i'm taking a little bit more time in uh sector eight here hopefully to rack up them rewards mm -hmm. i think m is getting close to the boss though let's see yeah he is yeah like a fight or two away. Herpix is still in Sector 7, though, right? I think so. We'll see. He's really been yeah, trying to push for the fights. He is. Uh, he has a deceptively upgraded ship because he has bigger and better weapons. He does. Those weapons sure. are the big difference. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how uh, the score shakes out here, or the, the tournament rating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because last one was, what was it, like a 10 or 11 minute difference, but a huge score difference because of the 4,000 right. versus 6,000. Yep. This one feels like the score might be closer, but M's faster for sure. Yeah, and I think I think her pick should have the higher in-game score. Mm-hmm. So we might just see how, how much time is waited here with the difference. will be interesting to see. 
All right, Herpix going to Sector 8, and Power's going into the boss fight, just about. Here it is. All right. All I right. really feel like his better weapons are going to make this fight a lot smoother than Herpix is going to be. Yeah, I agree. Um, though this is, like, my favorite setup to beat the flagship with, uh, as far as, like, standard weapons goes that Herpix has. Um it's like it's 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 good it's just not very fast mm -hmm. and it can run into some issues but like you're hacking shields and stuff and you know i might even put the whole laser on the bar for, yeah instead of the heavy laser flagship yeah just because of the you know you know you're running into four shields and all that stuff so mm -hmm. oh did he sell the sell the hole i missed that that's what i was wondering i actually kind of I don't know what I prefer. Honestly, don't. Probably I still prefer heavy laser, but honestly, I'm I'm feeling a little behind if I'm running a heavy laser, dual laser, mini beam going to the boss. But he's playing well with the shield hack. Uh, hey, just just remember if you have hacking, you can beat the flagship with four basic lasers. So. <laughs> it's about or one basic laser if you're Mike and ready to do a four hour <laughs> run, right? That sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> all the things that Mike has done, how I'm very I, impressed with, and I feel like I would hate all of them trying to do them myself. How I beat the flagship with a basic laser. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Mike's next visit, next video. Right. God, that, that just sounds miserable. Man. <laughs> <laughs> just thinking about it more. <laughs> You can easily win with no weapons. Yeah, I guess if, if you're boarding or you have... Could you win with just drones, no board? Yeah, I guess just drones and hacking would do it too. That would also be miserable. It would. You'd also run out of drone parts like crazy if you didn't have a recovery arm. Right. Try it with only Artie? No, thanks. <laughs> I'll pass. I hate all these ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like any of that. <laughs> exactly. So is that phase one for M? I That's think phase was, one, right? yeah. yeah. Okay. Crew counts as a weapon, huh? Well, uh, Empowers is going a little slower than I expected him to go. I thought he would be speed running this, but I feel like he's maybe... I wonder if he's going for some crew kills. Don't know. Could just it, be he's taking his time to make sure he uh, wins easily, too. Yeah, I feel like this is a little bit what you were talking about earlier about it's hard to change your style. This seems to be his style. This very um, micro-pausing intensive, making sure every single weapon is timed out perfectly. Right. Yeah, Herpix is on uh, 430, 480 scrap. <laughs> <right> <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, let's get a couple weapon value points for yeah. fun. So the the score difference might be it again here. <laughs> Look at Red that Reddit, Reddit engines. engines. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, full power Reddit engines. For the fans, baby. That's right. Casually sitting on 430 scrap. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, and power's getting some crew kills here at the end. Yeah, that's good. Hit them right as they go in the weapon. Uh, nice snipe there as they run the heal day. Yeah, that that uh, that bank scrap makes me think Herpix's uh, score is going to make the difference here. Yeah. I mean, they do have pretty upgraded ships, though. The both of them do. True. Even with those weapon upgrades, Herpix is only at five weapon power compared to the... Yeah. What's that? Six. But Reddit engines, that means he wins, right? According to Reddit. <laughs> Another hidden score buffer. <laughs> Buy swag sensors and Reddit engines and you automat auto win. I like it. Well, I know what I'm doing in our runs. <laughs> <laughs> no shields, no weapons, just swag sensors and uh, max those Reddit engines. Yep. Double NG versus double red that Herpix went through, yeah. 
Yeah, I think Herpix killed more ships. You're probably right. And Herpix was diving a little bit here, too. Mm hmm. <laughs> the unexpected appearance of the Reddit meta. <laughs> Just can't get away from it. Uh, that's right. Yeah, Herpix is playing faster now, and this, I feel like the slow play of Empowers is, is, is putting him behind too much. He's going to win er earlier, but it's going to be a smaller difference than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, same. I might have this problem too. I have a feeling I'm going to not be able to convince myself to play as recklessly as you might need to play to go faster like you're talking about doing. That's really what I want to do. So <laughs> I'll just I'll try not to die and keep it interesting, you know. Just go all in with risky strats. Yeah. All right, we should be coming up on time with Empower soon. All right, yep. one more volley. All right, what's our timer at? 68 minutes. There we go. Right out, about 68 on the dot for Empowers. Nice. GG. GG to him. Let's see what Herpix got. I think he's on phase three now. Yeah, he is on phase three, pretty sure. Yep. GG empowers. Yeah, yeah, that was. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. You're good. <laughs> well, I think we were gonna say the same thing. It we was... probably are. <laughs> yeah. that, that start was brutal, man. But uh, it was real nice recovery from it. Mm -hmm. Empowers showing his skills. Yep. Honestly, Herpix. Uh, I feel like we've been talking about Empowers because we had such a rough run. He's had such rough runs, but Herpix has been impressing me too. Yeah, he's he's played super solid today. Mm -hmm. He feels like he plays faster, er, uh, slower early than faster late, which is the opposite of Empowers. He plays really fast early, and then he starts slowing down when he gets to the boss. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, it was a cursed start. It was super cursed for <laughs> for Empowers. All right, two more volleys to finish this, I think. Looks about right. All right, here we go. Coming up on time. There it is, 69.38 or so. Nice. GG to Herpix, GG G -G. to Empowers. And now, and now the wait, the wait, the uh, behind the scenes magic we got to do to figure out these scores. Nope. Uh, for those in chat who don't know what happened during, happens during this time, uh, Kasalian takes the scores from the two players and then we run it through our <sighs> calculations. I don't know, our, our formula that we use that's based on time and score. So with an adjustment to try to equal out time and score. So GG to both players. Really good show matches so far. Yep. And we're going to try to take just a quick two, three minute break here to get everything sorted out for the score. And uh, we will see you on the other side of it. We'll be right back, folks. All righty, my friends. We are back from another epic head-to-head -head with Herpix and Empowers. Uh, Far, what did you think of that run? What were the highlights for you? Uh, well, that start for M was just brutal, right? Like, but during the break, he did bring up a good point. It does kind of put on display how strong Stealth A is. That like you can have something like that happen and kind of, you know, no issue, move on from it. So. So, M, how did that recovery feel to you? Was it was how badly were you cursing me and that seed at the beginning of that run? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you saw Rand, but I messaged you real quick at the start. I was like, Rand, what is the seed, man? You yeah. Man. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, like like Farb just said, you know, Stealth A is such a strong ship. You can you can have a shitty start like that and still have no problems winning the run, you know. Um, 
but but yeah, I mean, it, it was honestly, it was a smooth run. And actually, I, I realized at the end that I had had one faster than perfect. So that was interesting. There you I go. Mean, you got faster on that second I run. I didn't expect that. Yeah. But I, I tried to pick up the pace for sure. Um, so yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 see, we'll see what happens. On Herpix, you, uh, you, I feel like had a smoother earlier sector. How did, how did the run feel for you? Yeah, so the early game was pretty smooth, even later game, but I made some mistakes. Like, uh, I shouldn't have uh, suffocated the crew of the slack ship because that took too much time, or even mm -hmm. the rock fight in the end sector, sector seven. Uh, I should have clogged that first missile, so it didn't hit my uh, piloting and then weapons the other one. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, these little mistakes, I think I did well. Yeah, I, it was interesting because it got us talking about what is it worth? Is it worth taking the time to do a O2 crew kill when the rewards are good, but the time takes so longer, you know? So you all have given us good, uh, you know, kind of trial runs to see see how the scoring is going to work. But with no further ado, we do have to reveal. So if Kassalian can reveal, the winner of this match was... Looks like Herpix, you got it. So you have the 2-0. Fine. That's two over 6K runs. That's pretty impressive. All right. Yeah. Congrats. So congrats to Herpix. So it was 6,009 6, times 70 seconds, 195 rating. And in Powers, you have these fast runs, but uh, the the score the score is still not there, it looks like. Yeah. We've got to pump up those numbers before the uh, tournament, the rookie numbers. <laughs> Well, and you say you haven't been practicing this format much either, right? So this has been your first time, right? Yeah, yeah. I've, 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 I've not really sort of practiced any amount of like speed running or fast playing. I kind of get like the principles of it, but you know, I, I've yet to really put it into practice, get experience with it. So I'll be working on that between now and the, the actual tournament for sure. It's hard to break yourself away from how you typically play. Definitely, Especially when yeah. it just starts to be like an ingrained way of how you're seeing the game and everything, you know, it gets, it's tough, man. Yeah, totally. But I think I, what, one thing I take away from this, even, even with the scores, you know, being pretty Herpix favorite is there's a really oppressive play. I think from both of you, Herpix, you were, you were having, even with smooth runs, making good choices and empowers, you were recovering from really, really crappy situations. <laughs> so you, you guys are showing your FTL skills. So well done to both you guys. Oh. You. And real quick, just again, for comparison, uh, this one I find actually more interesting than the last one. Uh, Herpix's score for the original formula is 206 and M is still at 172 actually. Oh, okay. So it, it really closes the gap between that score farming and that speed. Yeah, uh, I like I like saying that. That's pretty cool. Well, while while we're still here, actually, Herpix, I, I have a question. What is your secret to getting such high scores? Mm -hmm. Like, do you just chase all the ship fights and just kill them so fast? Like, I don't. I mean, I don't, uh, what, what what can I do differently? Give me a secret. <laughs> Give me a secret sauce. Tell them the wrong thing. <laughs> Maybe the thing is like the most important thing is decision making. Where you spend your scrap early game, especially. And you always want to go for those fights. And you have to realize when you can uh, dive for more jumps. If you, of course, with Stealth Aid, that's very easy because you have cloaking and level 4 engines. But uh, even with hacking, sometimes it's enough. Cool. Yeah, yeah was, I think uh, he did He did more, more uh, diving, and that might be one of the big okay. things. There was right, a right. spot earlier in the run where it was really similar for you guys up until that point and i don't know like how the actual score discrepancy was but with it being so close and you guys were like in the same spot uh, the difference that i think put herpix in front was that he was he was diving and killed a few more ships in the dive and then like the the time difference ended up being so minimal that like that really put the score yeah. difference on display right? yeah put him all over the edge also the... i like to play very greedy so <laughs> that's yeah, maybe not right. a good advice yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah did did you did you kill the dive ships or did you just dive to um, the and you skip I the think dive fights? one for sure but not all of them i don't think okay. yeah he was yeah, basically yeah. diving for an extra ship fight reward and then just getting through the actual dive ship quickly i think sure yeah yeah and my my, my worry with that is just uh you know, if I dive, I, I want to make sure that I'm still like, you know, completing the run in a timely manner. So it's, mm -hmm. it's hard. I guess it's hard to find that balance, but I appreciate the advice. It's really hard. No well, I got to say, well done. Kudos to both of you all. Thank you for being part of the show match. 
Uh, I know Empowers is going to do some casting afterwards with Mike. So uh, yes, very excited. This I'm I'm super excited because I get to play against Farb, and uh, we get to have you know doppelganger head to head here. So oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll probably get to trash talk when uh, we swap casters and everything. So we're gonna push it to break <laughs> again. I think we might have a video running, and there's also the um, those. Uh, uh, what do they call it? Little uh, quizzes you can do for FTL. So hang out, folks, for a little bit longer break. When we come back, we will do another couple matches. All right, sounds good.